All right, what is up gamers and gamer-like products? Another Sunday, another Guilty Gear Strive FT7. It's funny how I gotta stop to think, which Guilty Gear are we playing again? Guilty Gear, ACPR, XR, ah, Strive, yes. Hope you guys were watching the uh, Arc Re Revo qualifiers, man. Shady. I, I don't, I don't want to say, but I've been saying this all the time. As soon as Shady goes and competes in a tournament environment, oh boy, oh boy, and first, I guess first tournament, first win. Better watch out for that, that guy. That guy's out there to get you. Potential win candidate for install next week. God damn. <laughs> oh, of course I love you, Smoker. How could I not? All right, let's see what do we have on the card for tonight. Lots of Sol and Nago. <clears throat> uh, I guess no, no surprise there. I think the top characters for a patch probably Nago, Ram, Sol. Not sure in which order. Um, so I guess like, and, and especially since, like, I guess Soul didn't really get a lot of like buffs or anything. It's just his stuff is now new, different, maybe quote, may, maybe even more fun. So uh, lots of Soul players coming out of their caves as well. Certain parts of Soul were nerfed, certain parts were buffed. But I gotta say, the new combos, the new combos are probably way more fun to do than the old ones. Alright, so starting off the evening with the Zubastic Nago from Russia versus Zareth Soul from Finland. Zubastic also aka Thorin, which took me a couple of minutes to figure out. I was actually like, wait, who, who is this guy? Should I know them? Of course I should. Pretty much every every set tonight is either Nago or Soul. It's one of those one of those days. Also coming up a lot of uh, old faces with new characters, such as uh, let's see who's who's made a character switch here. We got Matibo Matibo on. May has been surfing around uh, characters so far quite a bit. Earlier set up on Nago, Matibo's Nago, Nago performance was phenomenal, of course. Matibo being a gamer that they are, now trying their hands on May. I think at the time of the signups for Bounty Hunters this week, um, Matibo was like not. Not very many days into May, but uh, I mean, Matibo, when they pick up a character, I would expect them to get up at that, you know, pre-advanced or at least like high and intermediate, like pretty fast. Being one of those players. Also got Ottemon making a switch from Faust to Ram. Uh, can't really blame. Ram extremely strong this patch. The uh, Rekka buffs were phenomenal. A lot of uh, not, a lot of Ram players have been saying that that one thing that Ram Ram wasn't really good at, or the like, the one one thing that Ram had sort of difficulties at, has now been mended with the new the arrival of the new uh, Rekka and and the cancels out of Rekka. So not only better for combos now, also extremely good for pressure. Now in the corner you got even more options for Ram. It's usually like b before you would just sort of roll with your um, sword pressure and then RPS that way. Now you have an extra option for playing RPS with your Rekka as well. The Rekka 1, now punishable, only minus 5. Doesn't get guaranteed punished by DPs anymore, either. And then a dash cancels, you can dash cancel, throw sword. 
if they respect. Uh, the wreck at two and three counter hits now give massive combo. Fucking, you get annihilated if you get frame trapped by the wrecker. A lot of good stuff. Let's see who it is. Samoker also uh, transitioning from, I guess, Anji into Nago. Oh no. Let's see, let's see how permanent that switch is. Hello, gamer. Hello, gamer. I, I mean, I understand Samoker um, fully. I mean, Nago is the character to play in this patch, along with Sol and Ram, I think. Yeah, for and, sure. Uh, and Anji has been the character not to play for, uh, <laughs> like, like beta two, beta one. <laughs> yeah, it's it's even though like Faust and uh, Faust and Anji both have been buffed over and over again, it, it's still they like, they're not quite up there. And <laughs> now that we have Nago this patch just being all over strong and Ram getting ridiculous buffs on on the Rekka, uh yeah, I like so you said, kind of bouncing back from where he was put previously because, like, I think, um, like, like, uh, for example, his six P changes didn't really end up being that much, and then six P's being overall better, like, is really good for Soul, and then there's yeah. stuff like that, and like, so I, I keep saying this, but I, I just can't see Soul being a bad character by mm. design, uh, like you. you it's it's it, it'll be it will be really hard to nerf like the tool that allows him to actually do stuff at neutral 6s unless you like yeah. completely demolish it and yeah. then like soul is just the kind of archetype it, like soul's thing is dealing a lot of damage out of every situation and characters like that like it's 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 hard to make soul like bad or even mm -hmm. mid tier in, sure. in the context of strive I feel like he's a, he's he's like gotten a little bit more reasonable uh, in some ways, you know, stuff like Bandit Bringer not being, <laughs> you know, you win neutral by doing Bandit Bringer, that kind of thing. Yeah, um, but at the same time, it's like it's not only nerfs. Now Bandit Bringer actually gives you a combo and counter hit and a good yeah. one as well. Yeah, that's that's a weird decision. <laughs> But I mean, it's like they're, they are systematically reducing some of the dumbest shit and replacing it with more fun shit, mm, if, yeah. if you were to ask me, so. And like... Hopefully, hopefully they manage to do that for other characters, too. Like, yeah. I think May is a, like not too much weaker than she was previously. A little bit, um, of course, because of the 6B buff in general and, and Antiers being stronger. But at the same time, her new damage... It's really good, but I do think it has made her, like, more boring, in a sense, because all of her combos are very... Like, you dial into the same loop, basically, every time. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's a bit more homogenous, and, and it would be nice if... I don't know, there's a little bit more variety there. <laughs> it would be cool. Yeah, I feel like like the way Arxis has pretty much always gone about uh balance i think they're they're like on the pr in the process of sort of buffing everyone mm. but it's it's gonna take a while for some of the like perceived bottom tiers to get enough buffs to like get them up there yeah for sure it's i, I think it's a fun fun way of balancing things like not not a lot of massive nerfs every everybody gets to be happy um i mean i think some characters some characters, not naming any names, but we already named them earlier, so it's fine. Could use some sort of adjustment, because I don't think it's feasible to, for for an example, just, I don't think it's feasible to bring, like, uh, without, like, substantial changes, characters like um, Faust or Anji to the level of Nago at the present, because, like, th it's just a matter of having, like, a kit that has everything in it, and everything is like the best version of that thing that you can have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. How do we schedule this? So, uh, Zareth had some stick problems. Said that we should oh, no. probably play another matchup first, but should be able to fix it. So, uh, I think I saw. I'm, some... I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing Matibo May. Uh, I've not yeah. actually had the chance to play against Matibo May yet, but I, I, I'd imagine. 
that we're going to see some good stuff, considering Matibo is a gamer. <laughs> so I, I don't think that uh, a character like Mae would be too hard to pick up for him. Yeah, I would say like any any character Matibo pits, puts their hands on should probably get to like a relatively high level um, mm -hmm. in a short short span of time. Like he, not, not only does Matibo have the gamers uh, gamer gene, but also I think like the work ethic and like mm -hmm. how methodically he goes about labbing a character. It just it's just a like a recipe for success very fast. For sure. Looking forward to seeing what he can do. And when I say looking forward to, I mean, of course, judging. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, speaking of Matibo, let's... Let me ask the dudes. We could play Matibo versus Funny first. Who, who is Funny? I've never, I've never seen Funny before. So Funny is a new phase, at least, to, to Bounty Hunters. Um... A UK Nago player, um, and that's pretty much all I know personally so far. Okay, uh, what, what kind of what kind of level are we looking at? I, I'd assume VIP if, if he's a, uh, against Tebow. Uh, it, it's like pre pre celestial. Um, I also did like because uh, because Matibo signed up, um, having only played. May for a couple of days. I was like, oh. maybe I can, maybe I can, I can squeeze this in. But oh, there's no. a, there's a little bit of a chance for a wash here if oh. Matibo has uh, developed some strong patterns on May in in a short oh. span of time, and, oh. and that could very <laughs> well. Be. Never mind. I guess we're not even gonna see funny play. <laughs> I'm level oh, 400 wow. now. Shit. I mean, hey, there's the Nago factor. Anything could happen, I guess. Matibo doesn't play Nago. He plays May. Oh, wow. has, has played. Of course, right, yeah. <laughs> has played Nago, though. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, Matibo has played a lot of characters, though. I've, 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 I've blocked Matibo playing Nago out of my memory. It's, it's, it's a traumatic <laughs> experience for me. Nago, you PTSD. <laughs> I mean, I have a little bit of the same, because arguably Nago... Is probably Sol's worst, or at least trickiest matchup. Not only because I feel like that's probably the case for almost everybody. Mm -mm -mm. It's it's not just because Nago is a strong character. It's also the archetype that Nago puts on the table is sort of like the archetype that Sol has historically been struggling against the most. Mm -hmm. Is like Nago is kind of like I don't want to. I don't want to compare Nago to Sin too much, but like they they have a lot of similar buttons, similar sure. functions, so, and you know Nago, Nago the, the kind of character who's like very explosive yet plays good neutral. Like if you if you can control Soul to a certain degree at neutral and also match his rewards, then you got a you got a pretty decent character for for taking down Soul. For sure. For sure, for sure. Alright, I think I saw Funny join the lobby and Matibo should be on their way. So in a couple more minutes, we got Guilty Gaming. Ooh, let me fix the uh, overlay as well. Honestly, I should have known. I should have known that that man, Matibo, is gonna explode. Oh no, absolutely. I like 
I think May to begin with is fairly pick up and play in this game. And once you do get into the more difficult stuff, it's it's mostly um kind of like niche situational stuff. Like the basic game plan is fairly easy. The BMBs are kind of easier than ever <laughs> and more linear than ever. So yeah, I feel like you can get a lot of power very quickly on, on me right now. Five souls, yeah, and three Nagos. Yeah, I wonder one. why. It's, it's almost like these are the characters that <laughs> you really, really want to play in this path. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was kind of expecting a little more RAM as well, but I think... I wonder what RAM's it is about harder, RAM. Maybe. Hmm? RAM might be a little bit harder, I guess, than, than, than Nago and Soul, or at least, like, harder on, on, like, you know, like a beginner level or that sort of thing. Yeah, that or... Those two characters are just a little bit more have have, a, have like a coolness factor that a lot of gamers are looking for. But that's it. Time to head into the first matchup of the evening. Funny Nagori Yuki from UK oh, yeah. facing up against Matibo May from Finland. Hopefully, Funny will at least be able to get on on the board in this their <laughs> first. Uh, I mean, I know I. <laughs> I got my option select ready. If if <laughs> if Funny managed to get a couple of good rounds, I made this matchup. If not, Miri made this matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. All right, Matibo, show me your stuff. On optimal play, and I will, I will, I will send you a send you a harshly worded letter from the guild. <laughs> what? Well, never heard this song before. Oh, it's just got... Oh, actually, I, I've not heard this one either. Huh. Well, so far, Bonnie's not oh. letting Matibo do much. So we got yeah, the neutral yeah. control. I, I do think that this is a, 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 a Nago favored matchup, to be sure. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, if if May manages to get Nago to Yuki in the corner, then that's a, that's a fairly good situation for May. But in the neutral... I, you, you just don't have a lot of good options. Wow. Yeah. Funny Especially surfing. at the mid-range. That, that brave super against the 6 heavy. I wonder if that was a... Or was that against the 5 heavy? I, it, was, it, it was 6 heavy. Um, and... Oh, dropped the combo there. Oh, speaking of 6 heavy, I think That's that right. button deals damage. It sure does. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's seen that Leffen clip from Twitter where you get a non-counter hit 6 heavy and then uh, uh -oh. get just demolished. Yeah, 2H is really, really good uh, against May. Uh, you can just throw it out as a read. Now, at the mid-range, May can feasibly punish uh, 2H if, if you have a charge, but if not, then... Now we're we're looking at a matchup where like one hit leads into complete deletion. Mm -hmm. Now Matibo famously does always take a little bit to warm up, uh, so I imagine we'll be sitting a lot smoother again. <laughs> oh no! no! Oh, you didn't hold it all the way, you fool! <laughs> it's nice to see that Matibo did think about that, like going for a charged 5D punish. That's like my, my favorite punish I, of choice as well. My, my favorite part is Shady <laughs> reacting in, in such a way to May damage when he plays Nagoriyuki and Gold Lewis respectively. <laughs> <laughs> do the exact same kind of damage, so... Ooh, look at that! The, the neutral 2K checking that dolphin. Not the easiest thing, just like some some characters do have those good buttons that you can, like bu buttons like that 2K from Nago, fast recovery and able to check. Nice. The incoming. Um, could have gotten a better conversion there with micro dash CS, but I'll I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> oh, what was that? Just triple double jump forward and gets a, that was, gets a throw uh, at the that end. Was, that was gameplay. <laughs> Okay, 
Of course, a fair footsie button. Lots oh, of yeah. I, I'd say it's probably May's strongest button, uh, this this patch. Oh, nice. <laughs> ah, let me show you how to use that. Oh, Matibo missing a meaty there. So oh, well. But we've seen pretty a lot of smart stuff back and forth. Oh man, I Dolphin caught the backdash there. Oh yeah, it's it's active all the way. The uh, uh, active all the way to landing, so it's a, it's a good way of catching Fukio back. Ooh, has the counter hit too heavy? Oh, that's ah. All right, decent damage. It's a little bit of a buff on on the plot as well. And what's the mix-up? Nice. Just back the shot of it. Backdash, um, for success. Very good tool. Nice. Ooh. Oh, unoptimal conversions. <laughs> How dare you, Matibo? How very dare you've been playing this uh -oh. character for like a week, bro. Oh, that's that's game. Oh, unless. Uh, who is this scrub, Matibo? Let him. Let, let me at him. I'll show, I'll show him how to play this character. <laughs> Man, the community has really uh, conditioned me. Now, after I see that six heavy hit on May, it's like, yeah, the game is over. It's like, oh, damage coming in. It, it really does depend, but but usually you do get a very large amount of damage for it. Do you need to charge it up to to get a good conversion? No, no, no. no, no. It, 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 it bounces on any hit now. Mm -hmm. the, the only variable is um, the block stun and the raw damage. Ooh, that's gonna be a big combo. Not quite a kill, <laughs> but that's like solid 80%. Uh, yeah, base the sunset. The yeah. Ooh. Ooh, Matibo. You gave Funny a chance to play. Uh oh. <laughs> Why would you ever? <laughs> okay. 2D, a little bit too slow of a button uh, in, in that, that situation. Nice 6B. Yeah, so far, Funny has been pretty okay at checking some of those dolphins. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh, no, didn't, didn't super. Oh, Charlie, that really hurt. Oh, look at that Matiba with the air throw. I didn't RC the air throw! <laughs> Matiba, do you even play Guilty Gear? <laughs> I mean, we I are... Like mods. <laughs> we are talking about a Mei that's like fairly... Like fa fairly uh, recently picked up Mei, so it is possible that even though Matibo is a gamer, has to sort of dedicate their mental stack on certain things while ignoring certain things for for the sake of like the bigger picture. <laughs> Matibo might be working off of excerpt information where you couldn't get anything off of Air Throw RC, but in this game you, you definitely can pick up off of it. Yeah, sometimes your your hands hands will just guide you to do that air throw and you just unconsciously do it and are not ready to <laughs> actually play after it. And it's like, oh, oh I air threw them. Guild Gear Fundamentals. Nice throw. Oh? Mm. Not sure um, what? Funny was uh, fading there, but... Good 6P. Ooh! Alright. And now we are in the corner. Good throw break. They didn't increase, increase uh -oh. the throw break window, right? <laughs> Matibo. Matibo is fooling around. That was that was the third 2S 4-6 S he was going to do there. Bit disrespectful. Don't play with your food, Matibo. Patience. Looking at how funny plays this out. But yeah, that should be it. Ooh, too far away. Didn't have enough blood for five heavy to hit. Uh yeah. Chip. 
damage might have gotten him there if he hadn't tried to jump out. And 2S for success. Yeah, Matibo playing Mei in, in, in a very much like Matibo fashion, being very, very patient. Ooh, look at that footsies! Oh no! Oh, that's Not a lot of damage. Kill. Not quite the kill, and allowing Funny to go back to neutral. Oh, nice. Ooh, oh, nice 6 doesn't let really good, uh, like really good button for Nagoriyuki to press in that mid range because it does beat a lot of maze options. Uh, far slash, that certain ranges, maybe even two S, <laughs> and obviously yeah, and dolphins. Yeah, after after the dolphin changes now, it, I, I presume it wasn't able to beat dolphin before, right? No, no, yeah. no. Dolphin dolphin moved too close to the ground with the with the boxes, so. So you could not actually six p it. It was it was a w w wild bit of misinformation that was like rolling out. Wow, that was a nice conversion. Um, but now it's it, it has been made into truth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess they were like, shit. People be over here telling them that they can six p the dolphins because we gotta make it happen now. <laughs> it is intuitive though, and it's sort of how the case has been in previous Guilty Gear games as well. Not so. really, because in Exer you could not six p. Um, 4-6-S. You could only do it to 4-6-H. Right. And that was kind of the mix-up. Oh, nice. That's not going to quite kill, but... What are you going to do with all that meter? Uh-oh. <laughs> Bust, I guess. <laughs> Oof. Bet the farm on that clone. And Matibo, obviously. Nice Ooh. Rage. And, ah, baiting the burst. Very hard bait. But hey, sometimes you gotta. Ooh, maybe bait on the throw. But now, man, Matibo's staying ah. so tight. Oh, no conversion? All right, sticking out a far slash, getting a little bit of damage in, but we need more. We definitely need more, especially since Matibo does have the massive conversions on board. Ooh, that's gonna whiff, I think. No! Matibo already committed to a button there. So here's a chance for another round. Only one hit. But we're gonna get it, though. Funny can take it pretty easily here. Being in a massive life advantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, that that's gonna be... Oh, could have side-switched for wall break there. <laughs> Unoptimal. Unoptimal. I'm, this... I, listen, listen. This is a rare opportunity for me to bust Matibo's balls. I'm gonna <laughs> take it. <laughs> All right, get the counter hit. Pushing funny towards the corner. Ooh, that works. Not the biggest throw bait ever, but we take what we can get. Damn, Matibo really do be speed running. It's funny, those, like, look at how Matibo plays. Even though he plays, like, very patiently, he's really speed running this, is he not? Oh, dropping Just that. How Drop many close slashes there. you can get? Uh oh. And here's Nagos' time to show that one shot potential. 40% life left on the opponent's health bar. Really, really nice spacing here. Oh! Ah, <laughs> oh, but. Whoa. Uh, wait, wait yeah. what? Missing a lot of opportunities <laughs> for a kill. Yeah, all this meter definitely could have converted there for 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 the kill. Could have, you know, done any old dial into wall stick into super. Absolutely would have killed. That's unfortunate. Yeah, probably he wasn't <clears throat> expecting those uh, those hits to hit and sort of just rolled with it. I guess there's that age old like, are you gonna try to hit confirm or are you gonna just try to sort of flow after 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 a hit on block oh five heavy works as an anti-air look at that damage oh my god and he can super as well is he what? he's not dead is he dragon uh no <laughs> <laughs> surely not <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> but yeah. that, 
that, that, that feels like one of those combo... Combo, uh... Movie clips. Listen, just don't, but, just don't get empty aired, okay? Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> Another really heavy-hitting hit. Now, Matibo on set point. What are we gonna do here, funny? Oh! Probably gonna throw him there. Not sure, though. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. One ah! more hit. Oh, but does he get a burst back in time? He does! Matibo, uh -oh. I think baby. Not over it. yet. Oh, and that's it. Nice. That was so brave. He was going bust. He needed to land that hit. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Was on full blood at the end of the round there. Right, but you gotta line him up. <laughs> you know, when the slots are rolling. <laughs> Come on, funny. Let's get on the board, I believe. Oh, no. Ah, a little bit too late on the 4 6 age. Oh, no. Okay. Only 2S, luckily enough. Oh, snatched funny out of that too heavy startup. Oh. Decided not to RC there immediately the from the OHK, but... The wall being the last saving grace for funny. One hit. That's Is it. it... Oh, wait, yeah. what are you doing with Tebo? BM. You could have just done a combo. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe Miri would matchmake this strong player against this pre-celestial player. Shake my head, goddamn. Really clearly also just, just you know, out, out there whispering in Matibo's uh, ear, you know, like, ah, oh, don't don't play properly, just BM, just, just spam Dolphins, you know? You don't have to do combos, it's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, Matibo may, uh, whack? <laughs> <laughs> One combo was pretty good, but... <laughs> yeah, Matibo doing what Matibos do, and... Listen, if, if, if you want some coaching from me, Matibo, ah, contact me anytime. My rates are very fair, so... Don't worry about it. I'll take you on. I'll take you under my wing. <laughs> now, the next question is, is... Has Zareth worked through the stick issues? Yeah, that was kind of a fast one, so... Mm hmm, mm hmm. I guess it's probably safe to play one more bef uh, to give uh, Zareth enough time. If the players are fine with it, then why not? Ah, okay. I guess Zareth is ready to, ready to go. Not right. sure. Not sure if the stick was properly calibrated, but. The OS has been called. Always good to have an OS. Yeah, you better come prepared for these events. It's your your honor and your your name on the line. Whatever you do, do not lose because you were the worst player. Yeah, that's that, just, that would be that's just shameful. <laughs> that's kind of cringe. That would be horrible. Mm -hmm. You lost because the matchup was bad, or because the connection was bad, or because, you know, the character's better than yours. Your cat was There's meowing on the background. Yeah, exactly. You know, my hands were cold. <laughs> the commentators were bullying me on stream. That's actually a good... That's actually a good, uh... Good OS. I'm gonna use that <laughs> next time I play my soul. Can't believe this bald fuck on commentary was bullying me the whole night. <laughs> Alright. Right. Let's see. <laughs> the Z <laughs> for Zareth there. Alright, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. The Zubastic, oh, oh, aka Thorin from Russia. Oh, Thorin. Let's go. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out who, who this player was. I'm like, I've never seen this nick before. Ah, right, of course. Well, hell yeah, Thorin's uh, definitely a gamer. Yeah, Guild Gear gamer from from previous Guild Gear uh, titles as well. 
I can definitely see why Thorin would go for Nago of all characters. I mean, like, you're not gonna get closer to Cliff than, <laughs> than, than Nago, I don't think. Yeah, for sure. I've been actually waiting to see Zareth play for a while. Last time I faced Zareth in the tower, I got my ass handed to me. I mean, Zareth is pretty good, for sure. Yeah, Zareth is pretty decent. Decent at best. Decent at best. Jojo Gamer. You know, you know, playing that heritage for the future. <laughs> the true, true FG. <laughs> Ooh, that's oh, no. hit confirming there. Oh, six as the god. <laughs> nice. It's a clean hit. That's definitely where Soul wants to be in this matchup. Like, like that, that, that range when now goes back to the wall. Mm -mm. Yeah, especially when the blood hits level two. That's when Nago at, at far range starts to be able to... Oh! Um, that's probably not gonna hit. No, but... You know, no! <laughs> if you're gonna burn 100 meter... It's whatever. <laughs> I wonder if the plan was to la land that revolver on air hit, but it just didn't end up all the correct into the right direction. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Takes the first. <laughs> and dead, isn't he? Oh, but no oh. super! Super would have definitely killed. Oh no, you let oh. Soul out of that. Okay. Well, I guess fine. Don't okay. worry about it. He, he sticks out my leggy real far. And, and, and there it is. There it is. What was that number 10 uh, corner breaks that could have been uh, killed with a super today? Yeah. <laughs> Machibo had a couple of those as well. As well as did, uh, did Funny. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, the movement! <laughs> Barry's hunting Neko down in jets. I mean, you can't escape an Axel player. They've got mad range, you know, so. Yeah. It is what it is. Oh, wow, was that too early? The momentum burst. Ooh, Zareth. Taking back the initiative, and now running. Thorin towards the corner. RC. Nice, Thorin staying very tight. And now, arriving at level two. Ooh, nice like with punish. Ah, <laughs> but the footsies. I, I see you pressing far slash, far slash, and I raise you. Six age. <laughs> yeah, Nago six, six age doesn't really hit that far, but man doesn't have really good hitbox. The hitbox oh, is very yeah. reminiscent to uh, Maze five heavy, in a sense. Except better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And with that added uh, OTG bonus as well. Oh yeah, the, the OTG damage is nuts. <laughs> One of those moves that I think deal pretty much full damage even on OTG. Is, uh, I do think that the, the, the frame data is worse than 5H though. I, I'd imagine. Let me have a look. And I guess the convertibility. Oh, what was that? Yeah, very different button, uh, despite the disjoint. Oh, that was not a good at first. Let's see, 6H. Okay. Well, actually. <laughs> yeah, it, it is, it's minus a lot, more, at least. Yeah. Not, not, not so different as I thought. It's kind of funny. Zareth completely whipping the burst there, and then. Then Zubastic is like, I will, I will race you and go for this. Domi, I I, I, I I raise your empty gold burst and go for a Domi. Zareth really fishing with that DP. Oh, the two heavy hits into the corner. Chooses to cash out because Zareth doesn't have a burst here. And now again, that situation. Ooh, carry six heavy. Oh, but yeah, no conversion there. Bit too late with the uh, RC. Yeah, from a... From a really far range, that 6 heavy for us all is not the easiest conversion to make because 6 heavy still has a lot of recovery. Yeah, was he trying to like, like, ban it revolver RC? Like, is that a thing? Can you... <laughs> uh, it is definitely not an optimal thing, I think. Ooh, 6, huh? the new 5 heavy counter hit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 6 this is pretty good. It's all success. Decent button. Oh, but that's gonna hurt. Well, yes, it is. 
And Zareth yeah. on board, sees the opportunity. Tori making a critical mistake going bust. And we take those. Hell so yeah. far, I, f I feel like Zareth uh, kind of like fumbling a little with, with the new soul conversions. It is true that soul combo routes got changed quite a bit. Uh, pretty much all of those are now... Oh god. Barry Bones is a Leo player now? Oh no. Why, <laughs> really? This is not a good timeline. <laughs> Can we go back? <laughs> False alarm? Okay, good, 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 good. That's sweaty there for a moment. Yeah, me too. I was sweating bullets just thinking about it. <laughs> I'd rather take Leo than Axel to be. Oh, man. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> you need to play against better Leos. <laughs> Ooh, the last hit of the far slash 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 sequence, forcing Zarif to burst. The far slash is there on time. And now the pressure in the corner. Ooh. Pressure in the dark. <laughs> Homer and Bar. <laughs> 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 you know, shout out to the Finnish community. <laughs> Hanging out in Bart 62. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Zareth? Yeah, we in. Ah, oh, but the 6P. Zareth kind of getting those stray hits in, but struggling to uh, struggling to like convert a decent offense afterwards, and that's gonna be it. Yeah, six heavy, full damage, wall break. Thorin placing forward, three to one. Yeah, Exert Gamma. That's a that's a fair point. I think I, I think that seems to be the case in general. Like. Um, like Nago's matchups got like worse matchups got better. Not that they were like unplayable to begin with, but you know, like you know, <laughs> man, man, man just cannot lose. <laughs> yeah, look at that. The, the faster clone really seems to be making a difference. It's, it's like mm -hmm. I wonder if you can even use that on reaction against a lot of things. It's, it's such a strange change because like. <laughs> Like the it was already a really good tool, <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, let's just make it better. Let's just straight up better. <laughs> Faster goes goes further." <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if the incentive for that change was to change some of Nago's combo routes, or was it like, like he he needs this against projectiles? <laughs> I'm 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 not really sure. All right, Zard finding another DP out of the corner, but back in there. Ooh, nice, nice. back dash. Very cool. Avoiding the command throw and... Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good catch. Hell yeah. Good sequence for uh, Zareth here. Making all the right calls. Ah, 6P the god. Just like that. Back in the other corner now. Ooh, misses an opportunity to use the super once again. Okay, so still slightly excellent favorite. Fair enough. But I'd imagine it's better for Nago than it used to be. Yeah, Dan, there's there's the level 2-5 heavy. That one accursed button is kind of hard to deal with for Sol. Sol does have that 6S. But... Oh, oh that was... <laughs> I, I, I was about to say that that was brave, but it was s ball cannon wiper, so maybe not that brave. <laughs> maybe just, you know, knowing that you can't be punished. <laughs> Still on high life. Ooh, nice whip punish. No counter hit though, so can't pick up. Oh, Ooh, that should be yeah. Thor knew that was probably gonna be a kill. Ah, uh, Zareth has been caught by that uh, coming to Yuki a lot. I, I I'd assume he's trying to jump. And it's it's catching in in the jump yeah, start. Yeah, like there there it is again. Mm -hmm. I mean, it kind of would be the right choice. You 
or or I just realized that it was Zareth we we're talking about, so he might actually be trying to DP there. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think I think that might actually be the more likely okay. explanation now that I think about it. Yeah, because Zareth has been swinging that DP around quite a bit. But it is it is sort of like a so, sort of like a strange option against Nago. Nago having a lot of those disjointed buttons, so even if he manages to sort of like get the timing right. There's a chance that Nago's button will just whiff against that DP. Or rather, the DP will just whiff against the Nago's button. This once again checking with a 2k. Eesh. That's gonna hurt. Yep. Nah. Just, but just with the with the 6H OTG and everything, like. Ugh. <laughs> that was four hits. <laughs> That six heavy That's really being a, uh, really being. Oh, thanks to burst. Ow! Ouch! All of Zareth's bones. <laughs> the damage potential is similar, but Zubastic just so good at finding those hits consistently at neutral, having bigger range, bigger reach. No, 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 Q, we need to be respectful. The Zubastic. <laughs> Not just any Zubastic, but no, no, no. the one. <laughs> Again, gets finds purchase with that. Air Dash, Bandit Bringer, the nice Dive Kick. Oof! Ooh, but... Oh, there we no. go. You can actually get a you can actually get a meterless conversion for that, but I'm guessing Zarek just didn't confirm the uh, bring your CH and want to get a conversion anyway. Yeah, it's it's gonna be unsafe on the air bringer on block, so I think that's that's why Zarek was burning the meter. Oh, All right, all right. This is a good time as any to wake up. Oh. Slowly but surely, catches the back dash with success. Oh, interesting. I wonder what uh, Zareth is baiting there. Make a burst? Hmm? Oh, there it is again. Ooh. Oh, what the <laughs> but the oh my god. Every correct read. Let's take it home. Ah, no super! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Gamer! How many is that now? <laughs> That's so many. I've lost count. Just finish your fucking food. <laughs> <laughs> Dial into tiny brain. <laughs> but that was a that was a pretty tricky route that Zarus took there. Hard bait on the burst. The first time the Zubastic didn't bite. Next time proceeded to make the same bait, and that time was able to get the burst. But man, if 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 Zubastic didn't find that fire that burst right there, would have potentially been really bad for Zarus. Ooh, finds a really good hit. Ooh. One more. Oh, not, not there to punish in time, but it doesn't end up mattering because Zareth not able to get out of this corner position. Ooh, nice. Take it to the corner. And a very, very meaty close slash. Finding the hit, and this time we have the super conversion. Get the wall break, hard knockdown, potentially wow. one hit away. Obviously, you get the super when it doesn't kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, the interaction there. Still getting hit by the. All right, <laughs> line him up. If, if only Zareth had dragon install. <laughs> that would have been the time for it. <laughs> Yeah, starting to look like the 7 to 2 curse. And Zarud has a lot of work to do here to get back and take that W. But hey, not free, not free. It's definitely not free, but feeling. Oh, fishing with that 5k from full screen. <laughs> I, it's a pretty good button, but. <laughs> Ooh, again, the counter hit on. 
on Kamuri Yuki. Looking like Zarat oh. was almost oh, leaving really? the ground. I really expecting uh, the Zubastic to burst there, apparently. I do, no. I do think a lot of people panic burst on far slash counter hit, but, but mm, I don't know. With that kind of life lead? Yeah. And Zubastic has definitely seen the baits from Zarus so far, so probably yeah. has, a, has a hunch that they are very burst baity, so... Finds a lot of value just holding that burst, and now... This is set point! Oh, look at that! Back and forth! He's gonna, he's gonna pop here, though. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, but... <laughs> a miscalculation! Ooh... And baiting the stuns this! <laughs> oh, no! Wow! Ah, he drops it! <laughs> Not like this! Not like this! Oh, but... Oh, but... The close the slash! The close slash was like... The throw. Okay. What a mess. <laughs> Thorin could have easily gotten the kill with uh, throw RC there. Like, <laughs> he probably could have just done 6 H post throw, actually. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, missing the... Missing the 6 heavy for the wall break. Now Zaret still has a decent chance here. Alright. I'm oh, missing the mini -me. <laughs> Backdash out of the far slash. Answers with his oh. own 6 speed. See, that, that's the range, right? That DP was there to catch Kamuri Yuki had it come out, but... Oh, <laughs> he bets it all! Do it, I guess. <laughs> ah. Oh, wow, was that... I'm not sure if that was an actual punish. Yes, it was! It the was. punish text is there. Well, Man, <laughs> I guess... definitely a gamer, but <laughs> it goes 7-2 in uh, our guide Thorn's favor. Clearly a contest in this in this very uh, uh populated Gilligar Strive scene. Yeah, good stuff. I, I I was surprised that Thorin actually managed to get the punish there at the end, because at that screen position for a lot of characters, it's not the easiest thing to catch Sol, even if even if Sol throws out that that wild wild uh uh heavy mob cemetery. Because it moves I think that's the easiest point from where to like lab a punish to heavy mob because you know that that round start position or wall break post wall break position mm -hmm. is uh, yeah. you can you can lab that that's why nago is top one well that's one of the reasons why nago is top one <laughs> one of the many <laughs> bye right, maybe next patch am i right guys <laughs> My prediction is Nago's gonna stay the same, other characters are gonna get buffed. I mean, that's, then... the, that's the Guild of Gear classic. Like, we didn't see Johnny get shaken even once, you know? Like, like definitely shades of that kind of that kind of balance. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Maybe right. in Guild of Gear, strive to Revelator, you know? <laughs> All right, jumping into the next one. And Kelly, another soul player from Austria, facing off against Atemon with their new found Ram. So this matchup, Ram versus Sol, has been, I think, like fairly evenish. I, I really can't tell which one of these characters had the advantage um, in the earlier patches. Now, I wonder the scales might have tipped in Ram's favor with the newest, uh, newest Ram buffs. I feel like Sol should still, like... <laughs> I mean, Soul has more tools, uh, has a reversal, these sorts of things. Like, Ram still isn't great defensively. Yeah, which has it's the case. But. Yeah, that's. That that's... Neutral, though. <laughs> and that pressure, though. And that damage, though. <laughs> yeah, it's like if, if the scales have indeed be t been tipped, it's it's not by much, because, like, Soul still is Soul. Has that damage mm -hmm. damage potential and like the matchup always was like Ram controls the neutral, but once Sol lands that one hit, you're gonna do a little bit more 
on average than Ram. And Ram is a little conditional for, for her dam damage as well. Uh, if, if you play your screen position perfectly, you're, you're not gonna eat that corner situation. That being said, that all being said, I would I would I would like a moment of silence uh, for for Ottamon, Faust, <laughs> who has since perished, <laughs> and and has been replaced by what we see on screen right now. Um, rip, um, we understand you. <laughs> yeah, can't can't blame. I I feel the pull of the top tier as well, and I mean it's it's. If you're looking for a similar kind of character, but with a with a little bit of a different vibe, then I guess Ram a decent choice. What is this banger, by the way? I don't know, but it's sick. <laughs> Since when did they put so many weird songs in the game? I, I think it's that, you know, that <laughs> Isuka soundtrack slapping, you know? <laughs> yeah, it, it, no one ever played Isuka, but it had a, it had a hell of a soundtrack. <laughs> I unfortunately did, and I was very excited for the game as well. Oh Alas. no. Oh no. Ooh, finds a reversal super. Ooh, very nice. Not staying there in the corner to let Optimum get a free sword explosion. I would like to know that they didn't add uh, Leopoldon's theme uh, with the Isuka soundtracks, so I think that pretty much confirms that Leopoldon is, is, is going to come uh, to Guild of Gears Drive as a playable character because uh, they're saving it, you know? Make it so. Make it so. <laughs> Ooh, man, that, that new... Whatever that move is called, the... The, the greed server kind of looking thing for Ram is a surprisingly good air uh, air scramble tool. It does it's move a, Ram forward. It's kind of like a dive kick with a twist. It's a strange tool now because, uh, you know, you say it looks like greed server, but it is a mid. So um, it used to be an overhead, but it was also pointless because it was really easy to react to and uh, uh, also minus on block. Yeah. But now, now it's plus, and, you know, like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's exactly as fast as it used to be, but now you gotta be ready to check it with, you know, like 6p, 5k, something like that. It really transitioned from a very useless tool into a super multifunctional tool. You can use it on your pressure to sort of reset your pressure in the plus frames if they're not ready to press buttons, and in the air, it gives you that, that mobility that I've been seeing from a lot of high-level RAM players utilize. It's, um, Rem can also use it to safely pick up swords in the corner. Yep, that's a very strong point for sure. Um, and also, it's a lot like uh, Geo's hotkick, isn't it? Like, it's it's a very similar kind of function. And the funny thing is, if it, if it crosses your opponent, it sort of seems to have a hitbox from behind as well. So, really hard on with, if, if it crosses you up, hard to sort of tag on the landing surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very nice. That's a that's a value wild throw into the corner. Ah, oh, misses the DP there after 2k. Ah! The new soul combos still plaguing a little bit. Our soul contestants. Really, uh, I, I was really impressed with Optimon's Faust, but um, I'm, 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 I'm quietly concerned about where Optimon uh, Ramothal will go because once once uh, he's had enough time with this character, I, oof. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, and Ram is one of those characters you probably have to put a couple of weeks, if not months, into. Not like you, you kind of can pick up Ram and play fast, but some of the stuff is a little more. You you oh, gotta yeah. think about it. For sure, for sure. Not necessarily like get your like get, like get a strong muscle memory, but you really do have to like think it out inside your head like how mm. how do i how do i flow with this pressure when do i like how do how does the rps work true 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 so yeah you know growing pains uh and those are to be expected but it's it's, it's nice to see at them on you know rising to the uh you know occasion, occasion yeah and, and still taking part in uh, bounty hunters even on a fresh character And so, ooh, again, finding another 
Six heavy counter hit. Hold your hand. Ah, oh, says the Nago player. Mm -hmm. I ain't listening to none of that, Shady. Go back. Go back to where you came. <laughs> Ooh, finds the jumpy after the fast roaming cancel. Ooh. Good back dash. And Kelly choosing the burst. Oh, they're just burning all their resources for the position. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> the tail end of the explosion. And Kelly ended up backdashing into it. I think they were already out. Unfortunate there. Yeah, really smart. When Ram throws the sword and you're not in the corner, you, you better push forward. Oh, nice. And Kelly's looking really clean today. The moment I say that, he drops his combo. <laughs> uh, good decision there from Optimum to not use the burst. Could have, could have still chosen to play, but that a life disadvantage though. And Kelly's being very, very active, not you know, giving up the free screen space. And that's, I feel like that's the crux. That's like the most important thing in RAM matchups. Mm -hmm. Oish. Ooh, All nice, right. yes. Um, hmm. Now we are in the danger zone if, ah, but look at that. Pushing forward <laughs> aggressively. Clean neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Unironically clean you. Ooh, no RC. Otis still has a chance. But the dash in throw. It's like this matchup especially, if you if you're not ready to tackle the solo matchup, this can be like even even though you would think it's perhaps RAM advantage, it's 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 like one mistake can mm -hmm. One mistake and and and, uh, and and everything falls apart. So you gotta stay really tight. You gotta play play really tight as a ramp player in this matchup. I like, mean, <laughs> there's actually like if you if you look at like um, Arc System Works tweets, you know, <laughs> that you will find people actually downplaying Nago. <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> that, that's a that's a real thing. <laughs> yo, yo, did you see that? I be punished. Yo, real? <laughs> Thank you, one added frame of buffer. <laughs> Makes all the difference in the world, but I mean, how big was the IB window? Was it like two frames or something? That's uh, like three. a... No, wait, two. That's a... That's a... Math. That's a... That's a... That's a, that's a big percentual increase. It's like, ah, oh, hey, you want a slash back, bro? <laughs> for this supposedly basic mechanic in this game. Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> oh, but there it is. After landing a lot of hits, but again, that conditional damage from from Ram. Ah, uh, not fine purchase with that. Air throw RC. Here we go, this should be it, right? Oh, or not. Man, that round was all footsies for Atte. Not a single combo, but I mean, Hey, that's sometimes how you gotta take the win as Ram. If oh, you're not yeah. if you're not able to get towards the corner, the biggest you're gonna get is is something like far slash five heavy. Like that. That's that's pretty much your combo without meter and or the position. And that's kinda like the the downfall of Ram in this matchup. You have to swing with those far slashes, those five heavies that are not gonna read like lead into much. And thus risking Sol getting one of those 200 damage hitting combos in. But it's not like you you can't choose to not swing. You you gotta swing. You gotta stop Sol from doing stuff. True. Also, <laughs> Shady over here saying that Nago has to manage his blood meter, which is really hard to do. Is a good way to defend Nago. But I mean, yeah, true. I mean, if, if you if you can't count, it, it definitely is hard, Shady. I'm like, I'm not judging, bro. That's for sure. I'm not good at math either. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 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 
Nice, and fights the hit. Doesn't okay. get the last, but catches the backdash. Still a chance here. All right, nice box. Oh, calling out the throw, but not with a punish. Damn, good escape from the corner, but... Mm. And Kelly was so ready to chase after that. It's thus far, it's it's the big risk-reward uh, advantage that's going in, in favor of M. Kelly here. Just like having 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 more consistent conversions. And I mean, it is what it is for Atta being being very new to Ramlethal. Let's escape once again. Ooh, counter escape uses the same tool. Good 6P. Nice, chooses to use the meter. This should be a wall break. Oh, oh. <laughs> the JD becoming a throw on the ground. I feel that. <laughs> that has happened to me. <laughs> or maybe I missed Sabrobato. I, I think I saw the throw, so it, that's with, I, I just figured, because, mm. you know, D and all. I think the uh, the first hit of the revolver now only minus five, I think. So not punishable unless you land like super close to the opponent. Oh, oh interesting. interesting, that works. Damage seems to come from beta DPs, which uh, Kelly is more than happy to provide. <laughs> but at the same time, if the punish is not too large, or if the follow up yes. afterwards is not too threatening, why not? Very. Why not keep swinging? Yeah, I mean, why not? It's, you know, it's, it's kind of like, I, I can afford to guess wrong a couple of times. Eventually, you'll get hit. <laughs> it seems like Atte is slowly warming up a little, but we still got ways to go now. Throwing into the corner and a super baited. Oh, let's see the biggest soul combo. Uh huh. The new route. Oh, that's. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yes, yeah, so all still, still a damage machine. That, that much has not changed. If only, if only my six P was good in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, oh, it, it doesn't have the wall bounce anymore, so it's nerfed, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Now. Right, now instead, you gotta take the increased, uh, in in increased uh, juggle into your one-hit revolver into an even better combo. How sad! Yeah, so sad. <laughs> it's a good thing May's got the exact same thing. Oh wait, <laughs> no, no, she actually just got her six beater. <laughs> sad boys. Ooh, the with punish attempt was there. Is Enkele gonna burst here? Yes, they will. Saying that I am gonna, in fact, take this round still. Oh. Dialing in the combo, not not noticing the drop. Yeah, I think she probably needed to delay that jump D a little bit to get the 2k. That can be a very, very dangerous combo Ooh. drop now. Nice, nice punish on the 6 age. At least it's something. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I wonder if that was an attempt to run up throw, but like super delayed. I don't know. Also could have been, so because you can now dash cancel out of the Rekka and then cancel into a special move, but that that window is kind of tight. So it, it is like slightly more advanced tech to perform those like Rekka one into sword throw cancels. <laughs> so I wonder if, if, if that was like what up the mist there. Ooh, IBs? Hello? Good trade for Ann Kelly. Pushing towards the corner. Nice 6P. Oh man, that Bandit Bringer looked like it was gonna cross for a moment. Now up that needs Ooh. to find a way out of the corner. That's one way. Ah, nice. Really good IADJS. Ooh, that's so smart. 
Uh, Man, the reach back and forth. There we go. Got the punish. But the cancel on the sword throw wasn't there in time to combo. How, how, how can a character just running at you be so intimidating? <laughs> Sol has too many good options from his dash. Yeah, for sure. Like, usually it'd be like, oh, you're just running at me? That's fine. But but Sol's like, all right, well, I've got 6S, I've got 6P. <laughs> Guess, <laughs> please. It's and like, time. And Far Slash as well. It's like, you don't, you don't even need to get, like, super close. You can still get the plus frames out of your dash. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice check there against Vortex. And that, <laughs> no, obviously, PP is another thing. <laughs> yeah. Back and wild out. If you want to swing that thing. Really brave wow. breaking that throw there. Up this thing, very tight. All right, nice throw. <laughs> Walk up throw, gaming. Ah, this is the conversion though. Just like that, in a matter of like 10 seconds, both players spending all of their meter. But it's then Kelly that comes on top, has the corner position at the end. And Kelly on uh, set point now. Trying to find the par slash with 6P and Kelly. Ooh, the counter hit! Misses the combo though. Looking for Atte. Yeah, look at that, just dashing forward. There's a little bit of an RPS now there. Is Sol gonna go for the follow up after Revolver or not? There we go! I think Atte got the got the short cancelled there perfectly. Really Atte. nice looking pressure here. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's it's like Oh and <laughs> Mortobato, the god. Finally, Atte was able to put Ankeli in the corner and actually run some ran pressure. Uh, ran yeah, pressure, that's yeah. that's good. Ooh, heart baiting the burst, but Ankeli doesn't oh, bite! Throwing out the wrong sword! It was already gone, homie! <laughs> oh, looking pretty good for out the air. 2 H counter hit. Uh-oh. Ooh. Baiting the super, but this time Athena firing the trigger. It's the burst. Ooh, it's a vacuum! Oh. and can into the corner! <laughs> what lucky. a burst that was! Nice. Yeah, he, he meant to do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hitbox magic. It's like, I think in previous Guilty Gear games, I haven't seen bursts like that as often as in Strive. I, I'm not sure what it is about Strive burst, but it seems to like switch sides more often. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, bait it. Ooh, wrong sword though. And Mortobato, let's see the punish. Okay, yeah, good. Oh, is that... Ah! <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> oh, not there respecting the buff frames. And plus, into 5k. I can't remember how much of a gap there is. So the 5k is like 7 framer for RAM, I think. Right, working with the corner. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, wait, no wall break? Uh, and punish. Nice, this should be a lot of damage. You to take the. Nice! Good, good, good. Nice escape there. Oh. Escape Tatsu. <laughs> swing with the sword that he didn't have. Give me that. Oh, oh. yeah, oh. all right. Oh. Sliding in there with the BRC. Damn, forward. I'm waking up in the last second. Two points of the board in a row. Never say never. It is not too late yet. It's been looking He's developing for right in front of our eyes. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, I see. So this is how you play soul matchup. Oh, the five. Or sorry, the 6P. Ooh. Very baby for Ooh! Oh. Brave choice! Oh no! Too early with the punish! Yeah, pretty good burst, saving themselves against a lot of damage there and Kelly. Woo! Nice! 
And now the pressure, the pressure is on. The classic sword throw. Dash forward, pick up the sword. Close last sword. And then RPS. Honestly, the old stuff, the old corner pressure with the swords is a little more easy to execute than some of the new stuff. Like the Rekka into special cancels. Oh. Oh, this still has a little bit of life left. Can't take any hits though. <laughs> Go! Oh, I tried to. Yeah. The raw dash cancel is still very minus. If your opponent is ready to press a button. <laughs> oh! Trying a little bit of that record pressure there. Didn't quite uh, make the most out of that counter hit though. Ooh, finds a good hit. Oh, let's get the wall break! Unfortunate. Oh, all this sp spaghetti on the floor! <laughs> Alright, all is meter though. Better convert off of this. Ooh, <laughs> makes it! Yeah, this should be it. Come on. Hell yeah, finishing it off with Morto Bato. Thank you, Ant. Thank you. Four. That's three in a row. <laughs> Let's go. Man, I wish I could make another prediction here. Is Atta gonna take it at this point? This is where it gets interesting, dude. <laughs> I mean, listen, I, I, I don't want to be biased, but I'm, I'm kind of rooting for Atta right now. <laughs> I want to see it happen. <laughs> nice, clean conversion. Yeah, you gotta, think, you gotta think Atta is the, the, the underdog here. <laughs> oh, Morto, the god, all right. Get back in there, man. Oh, the resources being thrown around. Right. And this has to be the first thing. And Kelly feeling the pressure. Oh, but look at this. It might actually be. It might work. Ah, nah. I slap. How can she slap? The kitty scratch. <laughs> oh, nice. Up the so woke right now. <laughs> Nothing's getting by him. Yeah, I think Opta just needed to see a little bit of how N. Kelly plays. Sort of get a get a good idea how how you should be adjusting your own play. The words coming back. Opta swung a bit too early there. Morto baited. Here it is. Damage. Oh. The mid-screen conversion though has been a problem for Souls. When they get that close slash and pop the opponent in the air. Not picking the right combo path. Oh, oh, oh. oh close to a whiff punish there. Yeah, that's 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 interesting as well, cause the Rekka into dash cancel into oh, special. Oh my goodness, is that gonna be not? Oh, uh -oh. but he messed it up. No, up there. Oh, what? Oh, what was that? Dash the... into super. That was, that was so disrespectful. <laughs> oh no. Not like, not like dashing DP or anything. Just. Dash in raw super. Yeah, just do it. And Kelly really did that. Really did think they had a had the hunch there. Bet the farm. Yeah. Bet the farm. I mean, a DP would have, of course, been the safer option because you could have just RC it on block. Right, but... right. Oh, you mean the style points? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, kind of worked. Ooh, Tiny brain. A really good 5B check from Atta once again stops and Kelly from partnering in. Is, is Atta actually gonna do it though? Like, like, he just needs two more. <laughs> so, so awake. Ah, a bad burst could end it all. But oh, there's still let's see the conversion. Come on. Oh, but baiting on, the bait. burst! <laughs> to be fair, and Kelly did burst in that exact same situation earlier, but. And it was a life situation where N. Kelly could have potentially gone for it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, but the drop uh -oh. and a uh, throw mash! Ah! JK, <laughs> reset. Alright, just like that, and Kelly, back. Back on match point. Wow, two hits, 50% soul, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get locked up out there, I believe. Yes! Ooh, that's a big Aiming. one! Get the wall break. No it's escape. Time. There it is. Right, and Kelly choosing to hold their burst here. The safe play. Woo. Wild. 
Oh my god, that was brave. <laughs> I don't care about your plus frames. Woo! Air throw! RC! No! no RC. The RC. Oh, not like this! No! no. Ladies and gentlemen, RC your air throws. <laughs> God, that was that was off this round. It was gonna wow. go to six six. This sucks. <laughs> but GG's to both. That was a really good set. That was really good. What a turn of events. All right, next up, KS Gold Lewis, a verified gamer, versus Simoker, ex anti gamist. Now, in, in, in the stronger camp. The strongest camp there is. Ready to play the best character in the game. In one of Nagos, I guess, better matchups, question mark? Question mark? I, I think this isn't easy for Gold Lewis. This, this should be one of those, one of those uh, very tricky Gold Lewis matchups. Oh, Seamorker uh, can't play apparently, so I guess it's a it's a win for KS. Unfortunate. Uh, guess I uh, guess we'll move on to Pepe Viella versus Gas. Okay. Now let's see if Smoker has got the goods after the character switch. We have all the tools to control Gold Lewis here. But once Gold Lewis gets in, man, once either one of these characters get in, it's time to drop bombs. But who is it gonna be? Who will get that hit first? Well, the thing is, of course, like, this this match was basically just... Gold Lewis needs to do his very best to kill Nago before this man gets level 2. <laughs> because once that level 2 is there, uh, Gold Lewis ain't doing shit. <laughs> so is the game plan just dial into Kamuriyuki round start, burn, burn as much blood as you can, and then GG? Pretty much. It, Nago definitely doesn't lack the uh, lack the options to burn that blood when they want to. Oh. Nah. Ooh, we think we did that. Oh. Yeah, not, not, not got the response for JD yet, which of course uh, is... <laughs> is a hard button to deal with even for nago maybe i don't know i, I think nago 6p should be pretty good for it though going <laughs> bust first round that's that's kind of funny <laughs> I, I was like does does the does the blood rage actually break the wall but it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of sick though i guess <laughs> but would would nago's life keep taking away during the long ass animation <laughs> i think it should <laughs> that, that should be the <laughs> <laughs> Haymaker from the top ropes. Whoa, Footsies! What did that jump D hit there? Alright, ooh. Alright, there's the 6B. That's what we want to see. That's gonna, yeah, that's gonna hit. Only level 2, though. Oh, 6P? Run up 6P gaming? Yes. Gets caught low, and that's it. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much how I would expect this matchup to go. I guess, like, I wonder... It's probably in Nago's best interest to play a little bit more keep-away-ish. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think uh, you want to like get to level two and then just play really patiently. And it's like at that level, at that level two, you're you're not gonna make those like super massive conversions. A lot of your combos are just gonna be like one swipe into like six heavy OTG or something like that. Oh yeah, but you know, death by a thousand cuts is still a death. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I like that 5k. Brave stuff. Oh man! The DP! Look at how many cold slashes! That was a decent amount of damage without spending much blood. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Delaying the, the, the DP1 way too much. Uh oh. Uh, wait. The far slash is whiffed? <laughs> I mean, it's only level 1, so. <laughs> I think it must yeah. have been like a pixel away from not hitting there. But here comes KS with the damage. <laughs> All right, come to Yuki <laughs> for the win. It is what it is. I think ah. Gold yep, is fast, uh, or like fast. We're already level two. Ooh, wants to hold this position. But I wonder, I wonder if on level two, that's the burst you wanna go for. Like the momentum, keep the opponent in the corner. I, I, I guess it works, huh? All right. Oh no, well stick. Well, there it is. Ah, again! What is, what's going on here? See, Moker. Oh, what, what, what? Ex excuse me. Missing the punish? I mean, again, growing pain, pains. Not necessarily having all of those, uh, all of those uh, responses in the muscle memory. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How did KS get away with that? Seaboker, not, not, not having any reaction. <laughs> Readily available. <laughs> Jump over air behemoth with punishing that far slash. Ooh, pretty decent. Try for KS. Pushing Simoka into oh, the corner. Nice really important throw to find here. <laughs> the goal burst hitting from that. I'm guessing uh, Simoka pressed far slash and uh, extended his hard boxes into it. Alright, break the wall. Back to neutral. KS with a lot of meter. Uh, no? Okay. Uh-oh, 6H startup, <laughs> approximately, uh, I, th I think it's uh, 11 billion frames? Something around, uh, roundabouts. Uh, ballpark. Uh, oh my goodness. The Bayplate catching Ghost Lewis' anti-air. The good old. Immediate momentum burst, stay in the corner. The KS. Oh, and for the close slash, but... Is that gonna wall break? Is that close enough? No, I guess you, you kind of have to be uh, back against the corner. Oh, okay. Baiting the super there. Uh, wait, no pickup? All right, let's look at it. Well, I mean, you know, it's just a reset. And I mean, it's like when you drop your combo, what's Gold Lewis going to do? Press those fast five frame buttons. <laughs> Wait, does, does Gold Lewis have a 5 Framer now? Yep, everybody in the game has a 5 Framer now. Why? I think Gold's, is it? I think it's his 2P? It is 2P's 5 frames now, that's a really good buff actually. <laughs> his 2P is a surprisingly naughty ant here. <laughs> Alright, get the wall break here. The hardest of knockdowns, and what's the mix gonna be? Initially one hit away from, ooh, just, yeah. No, no I, I, I do like that. Just stay at just neutral, jump. stay safe. Don't risk <sighs> getting that, that COVID. <laughs> just pressing it. I do not care about your robot. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, again, the DP. Yeah, we got that advice from the viewers. DP round start for Nago. Seems to beat a lot of Gold Loose's stuff. And Seamoker has been using it for a couple of times now. There it is again. Frame trap into the DP. Oh, good check. Doesn't let Simoker cross over KS. Oh, is that gonna catch though? No. Fukyo taking Nago just far enough. Clone as an anti air. Works, alright. Oof. Ooh, very good sequence from KS. Avoiding the corner position, crossing it up. And now, this is the place. This is the place where Gold Lewis makes magic happen. We're swinging. <laughs> Forcing Samoker to hit that FD to avoid all that chip damage. Okay, but this is bad. Level 2. All the control is on Samoker's side here. Uh oh! Oh, probably could have gotten like an OTG there to finish it off, but I'm not sure. That was interesting. Was he faking the throw by whiffing it? And then Simoker with the throw break and got hit by the bot? Interesting sequence there. RPS a little bit, that 6P. Uh oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> really, really wanted to keep Chaos in that corner, but uh, here we go. I think that's gonna get baited. Can RC? Yep. Oh, but oh. the bot actually messed up the punish. But Simoker wasn't uh, ready. I think that was that was a blessing in disguise. Would have probably had to use 50 meter to save themselves otherwise. Okay, we're finding the hit. That's not gonna be a kill, I think. Has a bird super though. Oh, wait a second. Uh, oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> I was gonna say that it's probably gonna kill, but. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Guilty game, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> oh, that's gonna make him pop! Oh, oh no, he's busted. Busted makes me feel good. It's only minus seven, though. That was. Wait, that was a brilliant setup from Simoker. Because, like, that was not gonna be punishable. And he was gonna be zero hit points anyway, so rather go into the the end of the round with uh with that level three active. So you know, would would be pretty cool if Blood Rage activation was maybe a little bit more unsafe, you know? <laughs> How about minus ten? <laughs> How about that? Yeah, I think it, it's like wouldn't be too much to ask if you could actually punish it mid screen on block. Uh -huh. I don't know. Um, yeah, it feel it, it definitely feels like it should be. You, you should be getting punished as a nago for for always dialing into that blood rage, right? Yeah, but you know, <laughs> that's case. <crazy. laughs> but it's it's not like you don't have tools to fight against that when you like if you observe how how the nago is spending blood. You could, for Ooh. example, burst or wire C or like pretty much use resources not to let, let Nago get in that point blank range once you know it's gonna pop. Oh, uh -oh. the burst beta. That's definitely gonna be it. Unless. Oh, no! <laughs> Unless. Oh, well. <laughs> it's one of those one of those things that comes with experience, I think. Sometimes, like, noticing when you have the hit. Burning meter at the end of the round. And uh, as well as I think it was a uh, footsie bunker. Ooh, nice prediction. Throwing into the right direction, and now we are here at the precipice. Decent damage coming in. It's pretty much, I, I think Gold Lewis's, pretty much Gold Lewis's win condition is to put you in the corner and start the behemoth typhoon pressure. Sad thing for Gold though is that FD was made pretty, pretty strong against uh, the basic behemoth swinging. 
Now you get to push, you, 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 you get pushed back so much more than in the past. In a lot of cases, it's still not like enough to um, affect Gold Lewis's game plan too much. So you kind of have to know when it's a good idea and when it's not still, because, you know, obviously that is a lot of gauge you're losing. <laughs> But I think, in, in in most cases, when you are put in that checkmate situation, it's it's like it's not a question. You're gonna burn that meter, no much no matter how much you got. You're probably gonna burn that meter. Oh, interesting. Malcolm's got knocked out before top four. I mean... Oh, that's oh, so okay. smart. <laughs> Drifting forward at the end there, avoiding the last beam of the iron cannon, man. I'm not sure exactly if it was gonna hit or not, but that that looked like a calculated decision. Oof. Right, we're here once again. The uh, and a life lead for KS. Any good old hit is gonna do that. Uh oh. Ooh, that's a big hit. Oh, that's a big drop as well. Got a decent damage out of that, though. And Simoker still has a very nice, spa nice spacing to make this happen. Uh oh. Yeah, that disjoint, those bursts, those gold, uh, those wires is not gonna be as effective against Nago. Oh, still trades. Anybody's game. Ooh, can't take too much chip now. Definitely not a head. I'm not sure if that was a chip kill or not. Either way, KS was sort of forcing Samoker to come forward, jump forward or rush forward, because another another minigun would have probably chipped him out. Mm -hmm. Man, Gold Lewis playing that Street Fighter fireball. RPS All right, finds the bite. Oh no! Really good side switch there. Jumping forward with that backwards hitting behemoth. Luckily for Semoku, managing to fight out of that tricky situation. Lots of combos dropped, and here we go. Oh nice Abare! Both players very active on the defense, not being caught by the opponent's uh, victory condition in the corner. Jump D, coming out really fast, very hard to anti-air. Oh, the 2P comes out, immediate burst from Smoker, doesn't want to let KS play at all if possible. Fair bit of damage, gonna let him level out his gauge as well. No, I'm not sure if Naga wants that really, but. Mm. I guess, especially like low blood gauge combined with high amount of meter allows you to sort of uh, deny the opponent from playing pretty much for a, for a very long time. And that's a very nice place to be at the end of the round, especially. Ah, oh, finds the throw. That's it. Five to two. Despite all of those critical combo drops we've seen, Samoker still staying very much in control. It's 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 that uh, it's that neutral, you know, because because Goldie just can't swing it as as much as he'd like to. Oh no! Two in a row? Another one. Another one. Nago is a thirsty boy. And for for all we know, those those com quotations combo drops might actually be conscious drops to not break the wall. Uh <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna give Samoker the benefit of the doubt. 
and say that he just doesn't want to let KS go back to neutral. Yeah, 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 definitely. That time he whiffed his super and then get the wall break. That was, I, I feel like that's, yeah, well, that was, that was Galaxy break. Well. <laughs> Ooh, nice challenge there. Now switch the positions. Side swap. Ooh, and a very nice. Okay. Finds the far slash 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 sequence out of the corner. And a good anti air in 2P. Oh, Ooh, is that actually gonna. No yeah, way. So. Oh! Because yeah. far slash is not disjointed. So. Ah, it's not one of those. No. I mean, obviously it should be. <laughs> Please buff Nago. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the far slash should have. Distinct purpose and distinct uh, disadvantages compared to the other buttons. You don't want to give all of your buttons disjoint. No, no, no. That, just, that's not fun. This character is just not good enough yet. <laughs> right. Ooh. Right back in the corner you go. Getting a decent amount of life back. Sorry, uh, blood back. I was not. Able to build that 50 meter in time to finish the round, and now KS with another chance. Oh, I, I'm actually surprised that didn't bait the YRC, but maybe he had already done something. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, but any old hit will do it now. Minigun. Oh, it gets oh there in time. my god, are you serious? The improved startup or the travel time on the clone gets there in time. Minigun just too slow. Oh, it's a good thing that move was buffed. For sure. De <laughs> definitely another change. Not going to Yuki. Needed. As he was struggling in neutral previously. I wonder if the, in, in the previous patch the minigun would have made there in time. I guess not, because like, doesn't the clone have like infinite projectile absorb? Or like infinite durability? Like... I'm not sure if it actually would have gone that far in the last patch, because the travel distance is increased too. Oh, right. That's true, actually. Alright, Simoker. Is gonna pop here, but that's like one of the most safe, safe positions to pop. Oh. And Simoker on set point now. Do be. <laughs> Damn, even after, even after jumping over that Kamuryuki, doesn't manage to get a punish, KS. Yeah, look at that. Simoker was definitely reacting to that. Oh, alright. Here's Gaius's chance. Nice. Ooh, clean, clean. Oh, doesn't get the side switch. Or maybe he was trying to go for the cool side switch combo with the. Yeah, kind of looked like it, but the last air typhoon kind of whiffing there. Now we still have some life to survive one decent combo. Oh, oh that's no. not good. Oh, but. Getting oh, closer and closer to the end. This will not be it. <laughs> was that another? Uh, <laughs> was that another attempt at giving him in the corner? <laughs> oh man! Oh, oh man! Okay. <laughs> the old faithful jump D. Jump D. It's pretty good. Pretty decent button. We're gonna need another to stay alive. And Simoker now looking to stop. Good prediction there. Jumping over the command crab. Ow. Oh, the Nago Reach just demolishing KS here. Put into the corner, OTG6 heavy. One hit, one hit could end it all for KS. Oof. And he's run here on Bounty Hunters, that's gonna be it. Find that's the anti-air. That's a pretty decent 6P conversion. <laughs> and what better time to bust it out when you are on set point Sim Moker. It's debut here on Nago. It's a good thing that they standardized uh, rewards from anti-air 6P in this patch, right, I guess? <laughs> Everybody gets the same amount of damage, right? Right? 
Listen, they were they were not supposed to standardize. They were just supposed to sort of even out the playing field a little. <laughs> By making they, the rich richer. <laughs> they, yeah, they didn't talk anything about the, the damage <laughs> after 6p, only that all characters will now bounce the opponent a little higher on that counter hit, 6p hit. True, they didn't say that it would, you know, let you let everybody have better combos. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. no, we're just doing this thing. Never mind the results. <laughs> That's what <laughs> you were doing. thinking. <laughs> That's a brilliant way of making people happy without changing anything. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I got something. No, you didn't. Alrighty. So, uh, Pepe Viuela versus Gas. Gas, hot off of the EMEA. EMEA? EMEA? Arcrevo today. Uh, he was in top eight. He uh, actually looked top four. Ooh. Now, was... of course. One could say that, that the, the tournament unfortunately only had 20 participants, but hey, top four is still nothing to, nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, for sure. It's I, I feel like the promo probably wasn't there for no. for the qualifier. Yeah. Um, it, it seemed like they got like on the ball really late for it. Yeah. Like I think we got we got like a post about it in our Discord like. 24 hours before the event itself. Yeah, something like that, right? Uh, and it's just... Mm. And, and uh, it, it, they also closed the registration a day prior to the actual tournament start. Oh, right, right, right. It, it, it was uh, 24 hours before before the signups closed. Yeah, right. exactly. And, and the problem with that is that, you know, Finnish people in particular are <laughs> famous for... <laughs> Arriving to tournaments last minute. In fact, I'd say fighting game players are famous <laughs> for doing that. So. Right. But uh, it was it was still a, definitely a fun watch. Good production values. Um, and and congrats to Shady, uh, our, our 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 guy Shady from from Finland for uh, taking it home on on gold medal. It's really cool. Yeah, it's it's so cool. I'm I'm so glad that Shady is finally getting a little bit of recognition for their hard work. They've They've basically been busting their balls off. Like, I can streaming every day, playing those 10 hour sessions. <laughs> oh, to be young <laughs> and to have that kind of time. <laughs> but he's making the most of it. <laughs> and the craziest thing is, Shady doesn't even like strictly play Guilty Gear. He plays a lot of fighting games at the same time. Sure this is a gamer, tried and true. Wasn't Shady like in some of the uh, super high level Street Fighter V tournaments as well recently. I, yeah, I thought yeah, I, I, thought I watched top, one. Top 8 for Capcom, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was uh, watching that Capcom, one. Capcom, uh, Nordic, and Baltic, I think. So, you know, man man is man is getting results for his effort, which is always good to see. And it's, it's really great having him at, at, at our locals to practice with, also. Making the community stronger. That's that's actually great that you know we we got some strong players out there because it it's been a little quiet compared to Exard from from Team Finland when it comes to Strive. It's like for Team Finland has uh, has been pretty bad at showing up for events, unfortunately. Yeah, and like, a lot of competitors uh, as of yet. But Shady is apparently going to start uh, grinding the uh, weekly tournaments as well. So uh, God, I've been looking we'll for that. Yeah, that's that's amazing. It, it's like the old superstars from Exert era have sort of faded into into anonymity here on Strive, <laughs> given way to rising stars like Shady and some fucking bald guy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've not been playing too much lately. I, I I got into like one top eight, and I was like, "Yeah, all right, <laughs> time time to take a break." <laughs> but I've been getting back into it. I, I feel like the game is in an all right place uh, as of the new patch. It was more good than bad, I think, and I'm looking forward to where the game is going. It's nice to see that the development cycle is pretty like fast paced. Like they, they seem to be making adjustments at it. 
at a higher pace than usual. And it's nothing like super game changing so far. Mostly it's just been buffs, as, as we've said. So there isn't like huge changes to the meta. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. Gas said that they might not be home like right away, so we should play other games first. So let's mm. see, let me shoot up a DM to Omar and Gamma. So that should probably be our next match. Patch made the game way more fun. That seems to be the general uh, thing, yeah. I, I'm I'm still torn about the May changes. Like some of it's really good, some of it's really bad. And I don't mean the dolphins. Uh, that's obviously where everybody's mind first goes to. But like, you know, I feel like definitely four six H should lose to 6p uh, right like if you can it's kind of like geo's uh spiral arrow thing like if you can react to it like that then you shouldn't be allowed to get the plus frames for for, for free like that but i'm not so sure about 46s I, I i think it might be all right if it was the way it was in exert but then again eh, we'll see i i honestly think that the combo structure like change is, is more unfortunate. Like, like while it made May stronger, in a sense, it, it did make her a little bit more... Well, I don't know. You always just look for this stuff. It is important, like, that your, your character is f f sort of fun and interesting to play. Mm. If, even, even if you make a character stronger, but it's not, like, super engaging, that's definitely not good for... For the long haul. I, I feel like I just need to try and find new stuff and, and learn new things and maybe I'll you know I'll get used to it. Um and, and another interesting thing is like, you know, the the a lot of characters got like new air conversions and air uh options, but for me not a lot has like changed there are new combos that you can do but the stuff that she could already do is still like the best thing to go for and then usually you don't want to do air combos you want to do your grounded roots because of the new 6h and 5h being as good as it right. is it's like that system change didn't actually really affect me even though she's you know the character that's always in the air <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a it's a weird thing um, but you know, just just because May got hit a bit, doesn't mean that the patch wasn't good overall. And May's still good, so it's all well, that good. It's just you know, I, I I still need to, I still need to get used to it. <laughs> yeah, and like it, it it can feel like very demoralizing if your if your character has been like one of the top characters previously, and then even if you drop to like from S to A. It, it it can it can feel like a lot. I think she's definitely still like top ten, but but top five is a lot more contested now. Yeah. And you know, uh, <laughs> after having played a uh, mid tier May and Exert the whole time, like I, it's whatever. <laughs> I can live with this. <laughs> A lot of the things that made her really good are still there. It's just that she's a bit easier to deal with in, like, uh, neutral. In More particular. interactive, I like to say. Uh, yeah, maybe. Depends who the character on the other end is, honestly. Like, like for an example, if you're playing against Soul, there's not a lot you can do in the mid-range because of how good Soul 6P is. Like... <laughs> Um, you, you know how 2S for May is usually that button you want to like fish with at the mid range? Uh, mm -hmm. Soul 6 he actually beats 2S. It's kind of nutty. All right. So, Omar Requiem, a soul player from uh, Jordan, facing off against Gamma Jacko from the Netherlands. Hell yeah. Now, from my own experience, this is a pretty tricky matchup for Jacko. So hard to hard to control for Jacko at neutral, and the damage difference is horrendous. It's like Jacko doesn't pretty much do any damage. Soul does a lot. 
The problem with Jacko, I think, for a lot of people is that she is uh, considered, I think, generally speaking, like, possibly even the weakest character in the game. Like, definitely down there. Um, but she does have some knowledge checks to get through. <laughs> so it is a matchup you kind of need to play in order to compete in. Yeah, I for think. sure. So if, if you lack that experience or haven't done your homework, then you might be in for a rough time. Yeah, luckily for Soul, it's like fairly intuitive. The neutral is is pretty good. You have good buttons for for calling out the minions. If you hit the minion with like a 2S, your 2S will stay active forever, and Jacko just can't do much about that. For example, it's just like the damage, the button interactions, the like everything just feels like it works against Jacko. Even like like. Look at the, the the vortex that Sol just did. Even like random vortex seems like a pretty tricky thing for Jacko to deal with. Tends to sure. anti-air. It, it like <laughs> it, it can be rough. I, I played this matchup like 500 something matches with Satsu. <laughs> I I'm guessing Satsu is a big fan of the matchup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know, I just had the read on that, man. <laughs> Very surprising. <laughs> Alright, first one going for Omar. But I, I do think Gamma was putting a pretty good fight there, all things considered. Yeah, the first round did go for Gamma, so you... You do have by burning meter, you can still do damage with your super. Another thing is like soul soul DP being so good and damaging is 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 kind of rough for like 2D RPS for Jacko. Like this situation where you hit 2D, Soul can DP the soccer kick afterwards for a lot of rewards. And what do you get as Jacko for frame trapping that? Not much. I mean if, if you if you bait the DP then sure. Oh. Unfortunate. I like that little uh, throw bait there, though. Ooh! It's a counter hit with the second hit. Yeah, the vortex is so good. It's like against summons when she's airborne. Got a little bit of damage coming in, but still need the finishing touch here. And even even though even though Jacko can't necessarily control the neutral super well, it's not like she doesn't do well in the neutral. So like situations like this, where either either player can finish the round with one more touch, those are those are actually like pretty decent places to be for Jacko. Look at that once again, vortexing in going through the summons and now in the corner looking for that one big hit very patient nice escape from gamma gamma though and the neutral neutral rps the footsies are actually very interesting oh, oh doesn't, doesn't quite make the conversion i think maybe you have to make an adjustment for lights oh, I um, think a, that was kind of kind of a good idea if, if, if jackal was a little closer there that HMC might have ca caught on the landing. Also, uh, w one thing about Jacko, actually, um, at least for me, some conversions and setups that work on other characters do not work on Jacko. Like, you have to kind of adjust. Mm -hmm. Which is a bit weird. Yeah, that's, ooh, oh, I think that's going to whip. Yeah. That yeah, was like a little bit. Gamma, Gamma basically spent like 100 on that conversion as well, so all that <laughs> meter down the drain. Was the minion what messed it up or like... I... I wonder. Oh, still got the game though. So like hey. generally, generally minions don't screw up the combos in this game because you're basically the one controlling them. Which, which was a huge problem in the, in the old game. 
Yeah. <laughs> the, the primary reason why Jacko really didn't have BMB combos in Exert is because your primary concern was to get the minions out and then they just do whatever they do and screw <laughs> and up your do combos. What minions do, yeah. <laughs> they, they improve your neutral and pressure, but they make your combos a little bit worse. Ooh, this time able to recover in time. But again, against that Vortex, Omar Requiem probably happy to take that small punish there. In the grand scheme of things, not, not really he feeling the hurt. Oh, that was tricky. I think Omar didn't trick. Yeah, didn't commit to a button, so able to jump out still post flash. Good check. Ooh, that's actually beautiful. Putting Omar in the corner, but again, the Vortex. The Vortex, Vortex, Vortex. <laughs> Such a good tool in this matchup. Pretty decent. Good escape from Gamma. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Seems like there might be some setups that Soul can kind of just ignore. <laughs> yeah, I guess, like... <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Generally speaking, you should be able to make those left rights tight, and this time Gamma does. Player spending the meter, staying safe. And now, again, this is not too wow. bad place for B, for Jacko. One more hit. Oh, really betting on that burst there, I think. Ooh, can't get chipped. Oh. I, I, <laughs> Gutsy. <laughs> Gutsy for sure. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been an excellent trade for Omar if he had a little bit more life. Yep. Oh, wow. Big whiff. Yeah, the soccer kick on whiff is very, very vulnerable and whiff punishable. So you gotta really mind the spacing. Oh, good. Playing that Gunflame twice, waiting for the jump out, and then air to airing. Omar, really nice read. And now with the massive life lead. Oh, wait a second. Minions in the corner. One of the positions where Jacko actually gets to deal a little bit of damage. Comeback isn't impossible, but it's going to be pretty hard with this life. RC, yep. Nice, oh. good go, and we got those. Um, <laughs> still not out of the woods, though. And the wall once again saving Omar. Oh, oh there we go! The tip what? range 2k. Muscles. Clutch muscles activated, nice. Very nice comeback from Gamma. <laughs> On the razor's edge. And... They will probably have to be able to pull that, like similar similar job off multiple times, because yeah. that 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 situation is gonna occur more often than not. Like getting hit by one hit from Soul is gonna pretty much put you to a checkmate, and then after that you just gotta play perfect and avoid any subsequent hits. Oh wow! Nice. Right. Yeah, there's the frame trap with the soccer kick, but again, that frame trap does not yield a lot for Jacko unless you spend 50. Cool. Gotta say, uh, Gamma Jacko, kind of nice. Alright, finding, looking for that one decisive hit. Good idea. Spacing wasn't quite right for that instant air dash, and now, very good. Respects the second hit, and that's a punish. Hell yeah. It was also an option for Omar to let it go after the first hit and be semi-safe. Check once again. Yeah, it is your... your pretty much the neutral is, is gonna be what makes or break this matchup. You gotta make do with those. Oh, but the throw bait! Oh gosh, oh. And next hit, this could be lethal. There we go, perfect! 
has the new conversion, the new 5 heavy counter hit into 1 hit revolver and afterwards you can pick up with close flash, new roots and Omar. Omar has slapped them. Ooh, very close to landing a counter hit jump in there for Omar. Patient neutraling. Until the vortex, the hard read. But again, oh. I'm getting. Oh, that 2D counter hit is gonna cost a lot. Uh, oh no. Nice, using the FRC plus frames. Get the big throw. Unfortunately, not throwing into the corner, but working towards the other one. Yes, yeah, but 50. Keep on the pressure. Yeah, the same RPS okay. again. Omar plays, couple of fireballs, and then starts looking for the skies. Oh, look at 2k. Oh, my goodness. That's uh, it. Wait, hey, what? Tried to be, tried to be tricky with that Vortex PRC very late into DP, but this time, this why did, time. Uh, why did Gamma burst there though? Didn't, didn't Gamma block the DP or did I see that wrong? Uh, I think I blinked. I kind of missed it. Oh well. Alright, towards the corner. Ah, I'm missing the punish, unfortunately. The Vortex punish is probably the most precious one that you're gonna have to pull off in this matchup. Alright, a little bit of damage, but again. Chaco's corner damage, even though you get you get some, but you don't get that much unless you have the meter for super. Jump D. Still fairly strong. From my own experience, the jump Ds from Jacko kinda hard to approach, but again, the same problem. Not very damaging. Jacko is not gonna usually convert into a lot of damage, even if you get hit by like a stray fireball from that jump D. Alright, managed to get a jump in. Gamma slowly seems to be finding their pace. Oof. That's like the sort of counter hit you'd expect to be able to convert off of, but... <laughs> I guess one of the problems that Jago does have is that her damage is just very, very unimpressive. Yeah. And some of those tray hits, you you gotta have 50 to be able to get something. I think that's that's one of the problems. If that is remedied, uh, Jacko might be in a in a better position in the future. She's Oof, definitely. 3K? Oh well, it's not 3K, is it? It's <laughs> 2D now. 2D now, and it was 3H before. Yeah. Good. 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 I know buttons. I've played Guilty Gear. <laughs> Four to one. It was a strong start for Omar, but the quick adjustment from Gamma. Mm -hmm. Being able to work with the damage deficit, able to land hits often enough uh, at neutral, able to keep Omar out. Pretty much been the story of the, the matchup so far. Death by a thousand cuts. Ooh, able to find straight 2S. No more, not able to improve their position. Oh, there we go. Switch the sides. Oh, unfortunate drop for Omar. <laughs> Ooh, good backdash. That should be a kill with a... Yeah. Yep. Indeed. Yes. It's funny how Sol's mo most conversions will still go into the heavy clean hit DP. Just the way to get there has changed this patch. But the combos are definitely more fun to do now. Oh, wait a second. Was that 5k? That was a good check. I think that's the best response against Vortex so far from Gamma. That was, uh, that was 5D, I think. Way was it? Damn. Interesting. That might have actually been a misinput on 2D. Oh, 
Oh, right, because the, yeah, of course, 5k is the, the other button. Ah, all right, Omar getting another point on the board. And a moment too late. Still able to mount the comeback. It's a very decent position to fight back from still. 2-4. Now it's time to roll. A couple of good reads is all that it takes. Jacko is gonna need a couple more. A little late on the cancel. Or the link, should I say? Fights the vortex again as an anti air. Decent amount of damage. And even though dropped. Still gets to keep the... Oh, the 2 is not reaching far enough to punish that throw. Check. There should be a kill. Oh, goes for another loop. All right, Omar's starting to uh, pick up speed here. Oh, nice oh, pickup. Oh, the five heavy bounds into full combo. Goddamn soul, please stop. Just so thanks. That always surprises me how how from so far away that soul gets that wall bounce for hitting five heavy airborne. Yeah, Omar, looking for the jump out once again. Yep, the air pots are closed. You stay in there. Oh, that's yeah, good. That's bad. Wait, what? Did did he? like banded revolver into it or something like i it, it was either that or he already committed to like far slash from far range and pushed oh. her uh, pushed themselves into it i'm not sure hmm. maybe going back for a punish to her really that back dash was super early though i mean i guess it's a pretty slow super wait really Man, that yeah, was from yeah, so I, I, far I, I, away. Yeah, yeah. I guess I just, I'm, I'm. Is super just moves you so, 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 so forward? All right, that is a that, that is a good super though. I would say one of the one of the good things going in for uh, like going in Chaco's favor in in the. Uh, Design wise. Again, look at that. That's so disgusting. The vortex anti airing off screen. Trading even and getting a pretty decent combo now. Cashing out here. This should be a kill. Yes, indeed. Forever Elysian Driver delivering a decent amount of damage. There we go. And time to mix. Hoping to respect this time. Omar. Oh my god, that's... Oh. Close slash anti-air for pretty much any character. The recipe for, for a disaster. Nangama. Not even really inches. Any mistakes anymore. Alright, time to run it back. Very respectful on there. Oki again, the vortex. Fishing it, it out. What it is. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. I've been sort of looking forward for Omar using that 2S more. It's definitely one of my favorite soul buttons in this matchup. Ah. Fairly active. Massive amount of active frames. A very decent hitbox to, to write home about. And now even better convertibility. That's a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Is that death? That's kill. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, bust the burst there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, is he gonna catch the landing? Oh my god. Uh, uh, oh, not quite. That was funny as well. He, I think Gamma had the double jump. Yeah. But the, the, the projectile almost screwed him over. <laughs> Delayed Sol a little bit and... Not over until it's over. I think... 
That 5D must have been fishing for Look that. that. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> it. Oh, no. The projectile delaying the advance of Souls HMC just enough so that it gets there when Gamma lands. <laughs> so dumb. That is nuts. <laughs> that's so dumb, dude. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow, is, wait, is, is that that? Because Omar was looking for that on purpose. That might be, that might be a jump deep punish. Maybe. Or maybe he just wanted to land it. <laughs> Man, I, I gotta go into lab with that one. That might, <laughs> Omar might be onto something there. Not like you necessarily have to go for that, but I mean, it's good to have options. Yeah, being very safe with that 2S. And now Omar. A complete reversal how it was from before. The counter adjustment. What is Gamma gonna do here? Barely sliding in with that PRC. Ooh, good check on the Vortex this time. But again, if you hammer it in often enough, eventually you're gonna hit. What's it gonna be? Of course, Vortex has the meter to stay safe. Oh, and threats the needle, gets the counter hit with the jump in. But not a clean conversion. Could still be anybody's round. There we go. The, the minion seals the deal. When the opponent is low health, those minions... I, I guess, like, minions still have pretty decent damage potential compared to, like, other fireballs in the game. Because you're, you're, you're prone to get a couple of extra hits activating your attack command a couple of times in a row. Ooh. Oh, a little bit too far away for that 5k to connect. Ah, oh, there we go. It's over, isn't it? Wait. Oh, hard baiting the burst! <laughs> That would have been that would have been crazy for Gamma to burst there. Yeah. But I mean, Omar kind of could go for that burst bait. He had even if even if he ends up baiting it and Gamma gets out of there, the life lead was so massive. Ooh, a little bit too late to whiff punish the vortex. Again, uh -oh. ready with the air to air. I really like Omar's pressure here in the corner. Oh no. Yeah, look oh, at that. Oh no. Oh, okay. Yeah, good burst, I think. Again, threading the needle against the jump. Uh, the Omar has all the necessary tools. I mean, that's that's so bad, guy. <laughs> he has all the tools. <laughs> He's so bad. Man, I had... I had I had difficulties dealing with that. I mean, not really difficulties dealing with, but didn't really, wasn't ever able to find an answer to some of those jump Ds from, from Jacko. I guess Vortex and Dragon Install were the, or HMC were the uh, answers all along. There we go, find the DP. Ooh, missing the big combo. Bandit bringer, safe when started off the ground. Nice, sir. Got a neat punish and a side switch here. That's pretty much the best best you could get without spending meter. Oh, Ooh. Omar choosing to not respect there against the install super. Oh yeah, has to burst. Again, that vacuum after the burst towards the corner. Very peculiar. But see, this man I sold too, as is so good. I oh. I love they changed that button oh. so much. Uh -oh. oh god. <laughs> what a first round to this match. Gamma has so much meter, but how do we spend it here? Like that. Nice. Yeah, that works. Good idea. Grip forward. Get a throw. Sneak in a sneak in a sneaky little throw in there and get the round. 
My man had to work for that so hard. Ooh, oh, wow. Nice. That's a movement. Yeah, sometimes you, as a Jacko, have to pick up Minion after that 2D. Because Soul has <laughs> such a decent... calling out these uh, Vortexes pretty well now. Yeah, it's, it's been one of the go-to tools for Omar, so... Oh, it'll be too far away and oh my god, uh -oh. Here we go. Wait. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, just before the wall stick. That was a good idea. Yeah, even if that was not gonna kill, definitely wanna get out of that mix up situation. I honestly think it might have killed. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually might have. You had to assume Ooh. it was gonna. Oh, yeah, I had to burst there. That was a kill. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh, already! <laughs> Woo. Guilty what? gear, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Romantic. That is such a classic thing when, in the, like, at the end of the round, when you can't afford to take a single hit, when you can't even afford to take hits on block, you just have to burn, like, burn all of your meter. Especially if your opponent bursts meter, then you go for the counter meter burn to bail yourself out. Ooh, not a clean jump in. Gamma gets a throw on landing. Ooh, final 5 5k. That 3 frame normal. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, no. We're fine. Maybe. <laughs> it, was, it was just 50%. Don't, don't worry about it. Casual 50% off a dropped combo. Just so things. What it is. Alright, good check. Yeah, recognizing Omar is not close enough to get a throw, threatened with a throw. But now, oh, yeah, had to burst there. That would have killed. All right, the blue buff minions are gonna stay there on the ground. Ah, there's the vortex. Of course. <laughs> I was almost just waiting for it, honestly. Such a heartbreaker as well, because like you're. It seems like your maximum punish is gonna be 2k 2d against that vortex. Uh -huh. So like you get, you get like under 100 damage and then, okay. Ooh, Schmix? Schmix? Ah yes. Luckily Gamma can Gamma can oh! take that. I wonder if Gamma could have converted with all that meter there. Surely. Yeah, with 50 meter you should be able to get something better. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Waiting for Omar to hang themselves. Oh, <laughs> oh barely catching. That was that was smart place though. Like he he, he was he, the the idea was to finish that combo by burning uh, 50 meter twice for the baits. Oh look at that fit, that 6p again. Why does it? Why is it such a good anti here? As a soul player, I feel. Dirty watching this. Even as a soul player. Alright, minions, minions are out. And it's time to play for Omar once again. Good check. Yeah, the meter burn. Ooh, whips the throw. Good work for Gamma so far. And yeah, man. Omar didn't even have time to burst there. Gamma once again grasping the lead, six to five. Man, this has been a matchup with so many turning points, so many swings in momentum. All right, time for the final adjustments. I gotta say, Gamma played that previous game really well it's it's like the 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 successful jacko rounds are very long and grindy usually gotta work hard and the successful soul rounds are well they're uh, over in a flash <laughs> yeah in contrast that was one hit 50 percent of your life gone it's no right. problem you still got 40 percent left Something, something, married life, something, something. 
make a make a layered joke here about so bad guy's penis. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, Good. there we go. Well, that's true. I think if you have minions set up when when the soul player vortex is in, I think you should probably get something extra with attack command. And I think that was what what. Um, uh, sorry, what Gamma was kind of planning there, but... Alright, back to the grind. How are we gonna keep this oh. violent husband out? An end must be put to this long-running set of domestic violence. <laughs> Sin Kiss case favorite, Domestic Blizzard. God, I love Domestic Blizzard. Domestic Blizzard <laughs> is my favorite Sim special move. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, Gamma is so on top of his game right now. Ooh, that was... Ooh, uh, all right. Forcing in. Forcing yourself in with 50 meter. But Gamma, nice, managed to get out of there. And back to the zoning. Now being super mindful about the vortex. Vortex. There it is. <laughs> you can just count on it, you know. <laughs> All right, that's it. It's really a timing thing as well, because sometimes depending on when you fire the vortex, you might go under the jump jump D projectile. Sometimes you just don't though. And gamma set point. Oh yeah, true. That's a big one. All right, getting out of there. Not quite able to pull off a side switch, but a decent amount of damage on Jacko scale. Oh no, here we go. Vortex once again. Why are see the plus frames? You can escape. Omar. Oh, despite building that 50 meter, manages to get out of there, Gamma. You could go either way. The burst. Look at that. Patience <laughs> from both players. I know Omar really wants that Vortex, but... There it is. He really wanted that, but Gamma has been looking for it for the past two minutes and some in a row. <laughs> that, was, that was really the story of that set, wasn't it? <laughs> Just... Woof. Live by what? the vortex, die by the vortex. Yep. Once Gamma found out like a fairly consistent way of dealing with that, like like things started turning around. Very cool stuff from Gamma. Really impressed. Yeah, good stuff. Kind of got a vortex in this matchup. I, yeah, it seems like a good tool, but I gotta vary up your options, you know. I think some 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 other options that you, if if. If, if the Jacko player hangs back and just throws minions, uh, Gunflame is actually a pretty decent option as well. It, it sort of like nullifies the minions if there's any incoming ones. It's it, The neutral is definitely interesting. All right, let's see. Uh... I think Gaz was back already, so we should be able to play that matchup right. Did I did I see it right? Who was the other guy in the lobby? Uh, 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 uh Pepe Viuela. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and who else? Who's who's heading back there? There we. All right. Yes. All right. So we can we can play that next. Ooh, steady. With the with the with the golden cloud gas. Very spooky. That's a lot of cloud. That is a lot of cloud. Did Gas just uh, 
disconnect from the lobby. lobby. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, oh! <laughs> New challenger! <laughs> Ah, just launched the game. All right, so a okay, yeah. couple more minutes, and we're ready to roll. You thought you were playing against a ram? No, no. I mean, a soul, rather. <laughs> Gotta say, I was really impressed with Gas today in the in the in the Arc Revo, because uh, I've not actually seen Gas play this game a whole lot. Mm-hmm. I, I obviously I'm, I'm contractually obligated uh, to cheer him on now because he has moved into my little uh, city of Yadavimpa, which is of course the fighting game mecca of, of, of Finland. <laughs> there are some pretty pretty uh, decent players in Yadavimpa. Yeah, 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 there's that one bald dude for more. <laughs> he's pretty good sometimes. <laughs> Strong city. <laughs> Yadavimpa scene. One of the, yeah. <laughs> one, one of the, <laughs> can I say one of the biggest fighting game scenes in Finland, within Finland? I mean, kind of accurate. <laughs> I mean, we, we've, we've got offlines. <laughs> Some dudes travel to these offlines, you know? We, know we, got, <laughs> we got Balo Anji coming over here all the way from, you know, Helsinki. He knows what's up. Yeah, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't travel to Yarvenpa for those Yalu FT <laughs> matches? FT5, yeah. FT5, yeah. yeah. The classic. The classic, yeah. But no Yalu here tonight. Pepe Villuela from Spain. Right. Facing off against the Gas. Soul player from Finland. Let's see how it is. See if Gas can keep up with that tournament momentum. Oh. This this song should be banned in <laughs> in matches. <laughs> Thought the game was bugging out for a second. Are we going back to a loading screen over here? <laughs> Ooh, interesting choice. The second hit of Bandit Revolver. Very minor there, but choosing to go with a burst instead. Nice. I think it's still up to debate whether the patch made this matchup better for Faust. I think it was distinct soul advantage before. Just for the merit of, you know, soul being super strong and Faust not necessarily not. being as strong. <laughs> I'd imagine it's maybe a little better for Faust, but yeah, I feel like the problems that uh, were there are still there. So. Faust does have really interesting options for RPSing Soul, though. The Crawl, for example, can go under Far Slash. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's all kinds of funky stuff like that. It is just... Ooh! It's the 5k. Ooh! That bomb might have also... Might have almost comboed into the ten, ten, from the ten ton hammer. Clutch back dash there. <laughs> All right, oh, stays. Yeah. Oh, the soul pressure oh! is so scary. Saw that crawl for just a second there. And the crawl. The, the funny thing that, that I think that actually gives Faust some of the best risk reward like uh, some of the best i don't want to say risk rewards but rewards for challenging soul because oftentimes you have to challenge with a fast jab but crawling under actually gives faust a heavier starter oh the gold burst baited and in this game gold burst very punishable even on ground tries to crawl gas calling it out one more hit fights the throw again one more for the road. How's Pepe gonna get out? Fight the drill! And the DP, wait, the DP I didn't have enough invos there. Good hand by air. Oh my god, is Pepe gonna bring this back? 
Go. Don't have the balls. To knock the ball oh. back. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Nuts. One more hit. Uh, can't take any damage yet. Oh, unfortunate. Oh. What a fight. <laughs> that was a... That was a valiant run back there. Attempt from Pepe. The gosh. Ooh, the conversion there. Counter hit. 2S. Into really? one hit revolver. Man, I gotta stop using that more as well. Nice. Uh. Getting pushed back to the trumpet. <laughs> oh, okay. Again, the trumpet's working against Pepe. Gas being able to pick up every single one. Oh, that's so smart. That is so dirty and smart. Was expecting for the combo to continue, but transitioning into a reset. That's such a fast reset as well. You know, I think the bandit revolver one hit might actually be a be the optimal combo ender instead of the two hit one. Because two hit bandit revolver doesn't really get you frames to do much other than far slash now. True, true, true. By omitting the second hit on airborne opponent, you actually get to run the old Oki, either Fafnir or dash in close slash. And on standing opponent, you might actually get like a reset. I'm not exactly sure if it's plus or minus after the hit. Yes, do be gaming. <laughs> Did you <laughs> peep that uh, <laughs> FBIB there? Uh, FBIB uh, there at the start? That's, uh, that's a rare sight. Ooh. Excuse me? Guilty Gear? Hello? I mean, Wait, I know the jumps, jump heavy for her soul is good, but I didn't even know it was that good. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, 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 might actually. Yeah, that's oh, what no. I was expecting. That was so that, close to being picked up as well. You know, that would have been a kill for Gas if he uh -huh. managed to. Uh oh, that's not good. That might actually be it. Oh, <laughs> there is it! <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's been doing a lot of work you now. Surely it could have worked a third time. At the same time, I wonder if there's any reason for you to sort of respect after the first hit. Because I mean, if 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 he goes for the reset, then yeah, I would I would have to go into training mode and check the frames. Really oh. don't know. Here's another example how the risk reward is just not working and, for ooh, you. Delayed the burst so much that Gaz, while baiting it, gave up. <laughs> uh oh. Alright, decent hit. Break the wall. But now, the finishing touch, Soul must oh. not get in. Unfortunate item super in a way. Yeah, that, I think that counter hit too heavy could have been confirmed into a kill, probably by yeah, Pepe. Like, probably could have done like an RC drift forward into anything. Oh. Yeah, I think even even the new Rare Rare combos uh, for airborne hits. Oh, okay. Didn't get you a whole lot, but probably could have killed. Either way. <laughs> Man, it... Items just not... The Tenton Hammer coming up so slow. Alright, oh, no, hoping to... Hoping to whip the burst here. Do not get... Ooh. Ah, it doesn't get the conversion. Now, how do we play this? I wonder if Gaz knows that you can... 6P, da da da. Oof! Whoa! That... He is out. Managed oh, to avoid the little guy. All right, what are we getting? Lots of bombs and a trumpet. Okay, good patience from Gas. <laughs> oh no! Ooh, the banana peel. The new, the new peeled banana. Actually. No, <gasps> <gasps> it's the mayhem. Oh my Duh. goodness! Just, just fast gameplay, I guess. 
I mean, it is understandable if you miss that uh, bomb starter, because how many players are actually gonna lap that timing? It's sort of like up to your neutral ad lib reactions. <laughs> Yes, who, who would? Who would? Who, who would? <laughs> Again, the peeled banana calling out the vortex. Decent items here so far. Yeah, the loops. Ooh, okay, choosing to spend meter on that. Ooh, oh, not really nice. Oh, that was so close to being a really incredible player. But, you know, reset. Who doesn't quite get the whiff punish there? And Gas oh. happily to take that position. A little bit of a combo Yo. drop. But transitions into the reset like a champion. Oof. Take Can we this. Get another? Yeah, of course you would go for the third one. That's the enemy best style. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even PRC option select cleanly anymore. That's the kind of kung fu we do over here. <laughs> yeah. Trying to jump 2k, trying to drill over that fireball once again, but the timing really has to be there. You kind of have to be super high when you start that drill. It's been getting caught by Gas's projectiles. 4-0 though. I'm looking great for Pepe. Nice backdash, but doesn't get a doesn't get a big punish for for the risk that he took. And that's probably gonna be the story. Of Faust versus Soul. Uh oh. Everything you do, all those five Ps, Ooh. those jabs. Not, not gonna first thing for the uh, wall break there, but this is gonna be a <laughs> practically impossible comeback to make. But hey, uh, that's been happening a lot. Yeah. Uh, getting caught by gunfire. It's unfortunate as well, because Faust is a character who has a slightly slower air dash, so you might have to rely on other tools such, such as the Jump 2K. Mm -hmm. Or alternatively, you have to be very, very preemptive for air dashing over those fireballs. Faust's uh, drill definitely has like a, a decent box on it, but, but it's unfortunately like barely predictable what Faust is going to do when he is in the air, so if you have a good preemptive anti-air or, you know, any anything like disjointed to put on the screen, then that's going to be a bad time. Oh, calling out the back throw! Ooh. Alright. Ooh. Man, being so safe. The 2k fishing. <laughs> fishing hard and... And, and fighting it off in style. Damn, Fred, you're looking good. <laughs> Five wins in a row, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right, opting to with the burst here to avoid the rare damage very early. We'll see if that ends up working out for. Oh, and it even trades with Vortex. Unfortunate. Ooh, oh, that's a lot of bombs. Surprisingly, even despite all of those good items, not able to get their game started, Pepe. And here comes Gas once again. Those jabs just don't deliver enough punch. Like, I think that's been one of the major problems for Faust. Like, you, you got a jab out of that soul pressure but what are you gonna get for that like 5p 5p end or 5p 6p a classic problem soul only needs two guesses and the opponent needs so many much so so many more oh, <laughs> right, and he was back up throwing right there <laughs> Not a counter hit. Both so can't get a combo, and here we are, the throw loop once again. Ah! Oh gosh. He's gonna get a burst here. Go! Oh. But doesn't necessarily oh. have to commit to it. Yeah. Round ahead. So. Nice 6p. Best, yeah, that's the 6p you were talking about earlier. Yep, yep, yep. If you can react to it, that's the way to go. 
Yeah, and you could you could do that in the old games, but in the old games, a stray six piece wouldn't really get you a even a knockdown, I think. But in this game, six piece do knock down, so it's it's still worth even if six p is all you're gonna get. You should go for it. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's uh, a lot of, some characters can't even convert off of it, like. Nagoriyuki can famously, uh, from full screen, just get a wall break on. <laughs> Poor old Faust. <laughs> For daring to read it. Ah, <laughs> oh, the tick once again, man. Gas is on fire! Damn, 6 0. -oh. Well, <laughs> it do be like that sometimes. <laughs> Like Pepe hasn't shown a big, big punish for calling out any of those pressure moves. The biggest Pepe has been getting is 5P, and I don't think Gas gives a damn about 5P damage. Not really. You just, you can just keep going. But here, a good. Oh no! Was that the Afro explosion that put him in block stun and missed the throw? Yep, had to burst there. That was probably going to be a kill. Pepe desperately looking to get on the board. Whoa, I think that's going to get jumped, right? Yeah, and punished as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> Rough time to be trying to make a comeback, but hey. Stranger things at sea. I do wonder if the HMC was a miss input there and was meant to go for Tyrant Rave instead. Uh, only Gaz will know. Uh, oh, <laughs> thought that the media was gonna whiff and whiff it did, but didn't have the timing to press a button there. And now Gaz. Fast set point, six to zero. Oh, and the oh, no. hit. oh, but the minion busting uh, Pepe out of trouble. Wow, rare footage of items actually doing something for Pepe this oh, set. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> ah. Ooh. Oh, nice, good two H. There's the horn again. And Pepe, what you gonna do here? Facing extinction against the unending fury oh, of gas. Oh. That, was an, that was another uh, FDIB there. For obviously no, no, no purpose. But oh, oh, oh no! Gas. There's the burst. You it. can't quite punish it like that. Pepe, oh, is is it? Is that it? Oh, no, no. By the oh. no, 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 meter. Oh. Oh. Two X. Yes. <laughs> Yervin Pass City. So strong. <laughs> God damn. Well, a clean sweep. And, you know, he did have the momentum from, <laughs> from the qualifiers, it seems. Very true. God damn. All right. Gaz doth be gaming. Very nice. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have guessed that it was going to be this one-sided, considering how well Pepe performed last week. But heck, gas. Game here to game. Absolutely. Am, am I stuck on this? Oh, never mind. I had to press the button. All right, EU superstars assemble. We've got Steggy or Steggy, I think. Steggy from UK playing Milia. First time on Bounty Hunters last week, and what a performance it was! Super strong player. That Cloud Gas is not just for show here. Facing off against one of. One of the one of the finest in in Sweden, Riktig Ninja. We've seen them a couple of times on tournament, and every time I see Riktig play, it's it's a, it's a surprisingly strong performance. Has been able to get some uh, top eight placings here and there. 
Not sure if he's taken a tournament so far, but... Riktik never surprises me, because I know exactly how godlike he is. Riktik Ninja is, is, is one of the finest players in the Nordic region, and no one can convince me otherwise. Least of all himself. <laughs> it's interesting, I think this game suits Riktik just right. I think he's, he's one of those players who's been saying that he enjoys Strive a lot, and generally, how Strive is sort of played compared to Exert, I think Riktig just thrives on this game. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it goes. Alright, get the prediction online. And I think this, this matchup is very interesting as well. Um, not sure which one of these characters has had the advantage. I would say it's 5-5 in the new patch. Probably still 5-5. As far as I can tell, it's really gonna come down to the players. Milia, a very mobile character, but has to avoid getting, getting caught by Sol, which is honestly pretty much every single Sol matchup. Once you do land a hit, though, Sol does blend like the rest of them. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Avid or head. All right, two heavyweight players entering the ring. And only one of them will come out victorious. You know what? Uh, my, my theory behind... Riktig being so strong in this game is, is uh, he, he got to keep his color. Not everybody oh, yeah. Not everybody had that privilege. That's so. true. Where's my yellow and emerald green sin color? <laughs> so, so definitely done got that one. Oh, damn. Yeah. Straight up the bat. Speaking of getting caught, don't do that, Stiggy. 5k the god! Riktig! <laughs> Was trying to go for the big conversion. Still has the meter. All right, Steggy gets a chance to play, or does he? <laughs> Do they? OTG. All right, Rick, let's go. All right, uh, not giving Steggy a, 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 a chance to play. Smart move against Melia. DP baited, wow, but that was this one. Especially airborne, it's pretty fairly safe. Oh, misses the conversion. Steggy. Taking the advantage here. Nice box. Two. Gets caught low, though. Oh, whoa. Was, did he meant to do the S-disc instead of heavy? Mm -hmm. I think he... Interesting. All right. Oh, my God. Steggy. Not faced by that forward dash. All right. Missing the width punish on the 6 heavy. Also, Soul 6 heavy kind of buffed because no longer oh. counter hit recovery. Nice 6p there to deal with uh, 6s. Alright, time to mix. Oh. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Ooh! Whoa, that was so preemptive. Uh oh. So, Alright, nice burst. Whoa, that 2p from Soul hits so far. Steggy oh. with so much oh. meter. Oh yeah, my that's God. so. Uh, yeah, don't Rick try that. Oh, so good with the 5k. Don't have to choose your side. It's gonna hit the right one. one. True ninja. Ooh. Whoa, interesting. Never seen that happen before. <laughs> Me neither. 2s, the hair card clashing. Yeah, gold burst. It's out of the corner pressure. And now Steggy. Oh my god, just guess it's right once again. I think that's gonna. No, that's gonna clash, really? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Man, the disjoint on Soul 6S clashing against the Super. 
Steggy oh. did save themselves there with the PRC, but... 6H the guard. Ooh, really nice 6P ready for any and all our approaches. Ooh. Rictic has such a nice balance of like patient play and, and wilding out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, wall break. Going back to neutral. Again, the life bar. Ooh. Purely cosmetic here for Sol. One hit. Oh, he got your stake. You <laughs> doing backdash. That might Ooh. not quite a kill. But very close. Very close, though. <laughs> oh. All right. Round start super. Kind of brave. Oh, no. Oh. Good bait on the burst. Is that going to count? Yes. Yes. I think barely. Just barely, yeah. All right, early burst, not a bad idea. Got all this meter to work with now. Ooh. Uh oh, oh, <laughs> oh no. Ooh, Ford probably could have picked up as well. Yeah, I might whiff. No, no, no. Thought it might have whiff punished the 5k, but just, just, just before. Like I had all that meter in the back trunk from that gold burst earlier. Uh oh. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Any hit will do it. Frame trapping with the new revolver. Oh, again! Fights the DP against that overhead! So close, so close! Steggy! Oh. Steggy's out of meter! Oh, but the 6P! Was already active! Nice throw. Ah. Alright, alright. Yo, Riktik! Two in a row! Oh, yeah. I gotta say there, there, there was a. S I think when uh, when I asked Rick Tick to play for this event, they were coming back from a s s like a little bit of a break. They were taking a, a couple of uh, weeks before the October patch, or the, sorry, the the previous patch. Yeah, the previous patch was October patch, right? Wait, am I dumb? Well, the October patch is the one that came out this month of October. Right, right, right. Uh, so Rikti coming, coming out of a little bit of a break, but it seems like they're super ready to play here. Oh, nice! Gets a small whiff punish, but no follow up for Steggy. Nice run under, and I think Bandit Bringer probably doesn't hit behind. Either way, Stegio had, had the close slash out just in time. The good hitbox that that move has. Oof. It's gonna hurt. Yep. It's 50. <laughs> 50. 50 health for. 50% health for a small conversion. Oh, alright. All right. I like the momentum burst. Keep it in the corner. Ooh. Doesn't go for the follow up this time. Oh, uh, so close. All right, finally I'm able to land an overhead over the block string. I think every every single one, like three out of three, have been deepened by Riktik so far. Those those far slashes have been catching uh, Steady's like dash up attempts a lot. All right, get the first hit in. But man. It's not only offense, but Riktik Ninja is so tight on defense. It's like, I think he, I think Steggy hasn't been able to mix Riktik up even once yet. It's like he, he had that one punish of a burst against the disc situation, but that's it. I mean, statistically, statistically it should be 50-50, but Riktik, man. Oh. All right, let's see if we find no Ooh. DP. <laughs> Doesn't quite get the side switch, but. All right, what's next? Gets blocked. <laughs> One hundred percent. Probably could have gotten the six H OTG there. Not sure if it would have killed though. All right. Ooh. All right. Has the fifty meter for a conversion. Big Dick has a bur right. burst. Oh, I like the gun flame paint. Ooh, I like where he's at. That's oh, that gonna should be. be. 
Yeah. All right. Their conversions are no joke. Steggy on board, but man, was that that was a lot of work that he had to do <laughs> for that win. God damn. And another thing I noticed, it's it's like Riktik plays very aggressive options and a variety of different options on the on the disc hockey as well. So Steggy kind of has to respect Ninja, Riktik Ninja on their like on their own hockey. The DPs have been hitting. Oh, nice flash conversion. 2P into 6 heavy. Would be a shame if all characters in the game couldn't convert their jabs like like Sol can into a nice heavy conversion. Or sorry, heavy knockdown. Oh my god, he picks it up as well. One more. Sticky does get a burst back here, but... Oh, that was that was kind of smart. The wall break aligning perfectly so that Steggy is not able to use the burst there. Oh, that was such a quick game. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I feel like I, I I looked away for like a second and poof, it's over. <laughs> yeah, it's soul for you. Soul gaming. Oh, yeah. Starting off with a bang this time. 50% gone already. Or should I say 60? Steggy looking to take it back, but again, the 6 heavy. Oh. But man, I gotta, gotta say from my personal experience, is that 6 heavy hard to con convert on counter hit. Oh, okay. The, the link, the link afterwards, unless you're in the corner. In the corner, very easily converted but mid screen far range kind of tricky yeah blocking the frame trap and getting a punish as well Ooh, rare footage of Riktik ninja actually getting hit on on the defense i think he was probably trying to dp there for the big punish against soul 5k Melia really fast on their feet, look at that! Even though Ninja's whiffing the 5k! Steggy not getting there in time to punish! Oh wow, 5k was like already out there, but like not active, it would appear. Alright, slowly but surely. Adjustment coming up from Steggy. Milia is still very, very tricky to catch. Oh, okay. Hard baiting the burst. Decent patience from Steggy. Not bursting right away. There's the gold one. Steggy really likes the gold one. In in like in a situations where where he even even off like mid-screen knockdowns. And as a result of that, able to get quite a few bursts out per set. I think that's generally pretty good strategy to go for, for for pixie characters. To get a little bit of extra survivability. Use your burst early. And then get get out multiple of them. Ooh, that's finds it. a conversion. Nice! <clears throat> oh! 2K2D didn't used to convert into uh, into Bandit Revolver as well, so a little bit of a buff there as well. Now it's Steggy, blendering it up. Is that gonna break the wall? Not quite. Oh, really unfortunate mistiming there. And a chance for Riktik to run it back. Uh -oh. oh no, that's a big one. Oh, what? oh reset. Uh oh, where's the where's the burst? There it is. That's already a victory in itself. Now the question here. All right, Ninja will opt to take the burst into the next round, which is the safer option. Oh, again, the round starts six heavy. 
that's wait that's that's almost like that's a naga round start although naga does get a wall break as well but, but wait that's it that's better for us all you don't have to you get the same damage but you don't have to take the wall break <laughs> granted okay. well although steji does still have a little bit of a deficit but four to two Six heavy again? Nope. Fire slash. <laughs> Can't be picking the same option every time when you got so many options, man. <laughs> this is what it is. I wonder how Melia, like, calls that six heavy out round star. I guess just make it whiff and whiff punish? I wonder if you could do, like, a backdash hair car even, too. Get the punish. I don't know. Might be a bit too slow. All right. Ooh, getting out of there, and Steggy forcing to force to burst as well. Oh my God! Is this means you're gonna? Oh, oh the same, the same oh. reset we saw from Gas. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh my God! Ninja! E e ninja! A highway robbery. No. Not only. A massive life disadvantage, but Steggy also used their burst there. Oh my god. <laughs> lekker, lekker. I 50 oh. meter down the drain. We are throwing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Wow. What is uh. that mix? Oh, 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 he's so good. How is he so good? I like this. It's it's not like it's not like Riktik's opponent is lacking caliber either. These are like Steggy is like top top material in in some of the uh, has has been like top four a couple of times in 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 some of these weekly contested weekly uh, weekly tournaments. Mm -hmm. All right, hoping to burst here. Yo, has Ninja missed a single DP? It's a really keen sense for when when to go for that reversal. And it's not like he's swinging it around too much either all the time. All right again. Staying very tight, not taking the hit. Ooh! Oh, unfortunate. 5k into the wrong direction there. There should be a round. Oh, no! Finds the DP once again. No way, Steggy. Is Steggy gonna drop a, another, another round? Surely not. Yeah. Big Dick staying. Staying disciplined there. Could have could have attempted to burst and still rub the round, but saying, listen, this is this is the safe play. Let's just we got we got we got a buffer. We can we can still take a couple of losses. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. All right, ooh, the wall bounce there. Not going the way of Ninja. First, first missed DP. But Steggy doesn't even get a ah oh, doesn't manage to. Milk a lot of out of that. All right. Punch the two P. Now this one, this one is very important for Steggy to take. Losing here with me, Ninja goes up to six to preserve the momentum. We gotta get this one. All right, the wall break. Back to neutral. Oh, this time the 5k doesn't deliver. Yeah, sometimes... Sometimes when the jump heavy from Milia is already out. And the timing is not there. Oh, the whiff vortex. Oh, but there we go. But still... Yeah. It's it's when you and hit that... Hit it, you still gotta be able to punish it. Yeah. Hitting that S the SDP is still like ra rather fast on recovery, and when it hits against uh, an airborne opponent, oh, that's so scary. 
Very, very good play from Steji, though. All right. Oh, yes. Well, the, the comeback is still... It's still alive. Steggy has one more... One more chance to uh, drop a game. Ooh, finding a 5k. And here we go. How oh, are we gonna get out of this corner position? The answer is throw. Sorry, burst. Whoa! Really cool attempt there. Oh, catches the back dash. Really deep dash from Riktik Ninja, committing, knowing, guessing. Ooh, the 2D there. Early burst from Ninja. Finding another really good DP, breaking the momentum from Steji. Finally, was that like one of the first disc mix-ups that uh, mix-ups that actually hits here? This set for Steggy. Oh, <laughs> not flinching. Yeah, two K two D. Oh no, no punish. That's unfortunate. Was probably expecting Ninja to RC that because he had. Yeah. Full stick of butter. That's gonna be it though. Yeah, just barely got burst back there. Not sure if it was before the last hit though. Six to three. Either Oof. way, it might have been a conscious choice for Steggy to attempt to hard read the hard burst bait. Oh no, he, he got the back dash and he was attempting to whiff punish. Oh my goodness. In full synchro. Preemptive jump. Getting the air throw. Oh, ho, ho. the DP into the wrong direction. Feels so wrong, but hits so right. And that's, oh, that's around. Cool. Yep. No, oh, ooh, wait. Ooh, Never mind. Wouldn't, wouldn't another DP have done the job? I think. If you're not able to get. If you don't have time to go for Fafnir, then, like. Five heavy is probably going to be the strongest oh, okay. hit and get there. Oh, wow. Well, just like that, Big Big Ninja. At a set point. Wow. Wow. It... Whoa, I get I... An, almost an I... optimal anti-air as well, the close slash there. I did say that I'm never surprised with Big Big Ninja, but honestly, a little surprised that he's this good. <laughs> what I'm really surprised about is we don't see Riktik Ninja playing very often, attending, like, tournaments very, very seldom. So you always get surprised how, how hecking godlike Riktik is in, in this game. So good. Alright, the backdash works out here. Oof. And he's just RPSing, RPSing so Ooh. actively. 6H the god and then throw and that's it! That's actually enough! Jesus a Christ! Ninja. Seven to three! Goddamn. This man!